is money, honey. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. It's like bees to the honey. Honey, money, honey, money, honey. Just the sauce, cast baby. Nothing like that. Hopefully the mic checks work. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome to the Silas Cast. Uh, only here on Valuetainment, the number one channel in the world for entrepreneurs. I see Natalia doing her makeup. Let's get a camera on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, welcome to Silas Cast, where finance meets romance. The sexiest financial show in the world. We talk dating, romance, relationships, money, finance, and romance. And of course, Nat, as always, we're we here want- to do one job and one job only. We want to see you guys out there get paid, paid laid, laid, and, and do, do it, it your way. way. What's better than that in this world, right? <laughs> um, special guests on the show today. By the way, Naomi, first time on the show. Naomi Hernandez here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're 21, wink, wink, because we're serving alcohol. Yeah. But you're 19 today, right? Yes. Model <laughs> for Source and Model Scout. So if anyone had a drink here, everyone's 21 on board here. But 19, holy shit. Okay. Um, Internet sensation, singer, dancer, twerker? Yeah. For sure. For sure. Worker. (laughs) Only fans? Yes. Quote, unquote, bad bitch. A.K.A. bad bitch. Okay. A.K.A. Virgin Virgin Lex. That's me. Can you be a virgin and a bad bitch? We'll discuss that today. I think that's kind of antithetical. We'll see about that. Um, but welcome to the show. Thank you for uh, having me. You come highly recommended. It looks Melina's great back. Here. Yes. Melina, uh, Twitch streamer, lovely girl. Um, not so sure about your husband though. That He's character. He's not lovely. Is that what you're no, saying? No, Destiny. Whoa. If you're familiar with Destiny, <laughs> huge, huge YouTuber and gamer, yeah. Twitch streamer. Destiny, good friend of the show. No, no, he's on YouTube, Rumble and Kick. He's everywhere now. Yeah, he's everywhere. Plug your man right quick. Yeah. Plug him. Plug him. What does that mean? Like, big him up. Tell him where people Wait, are at. Where to find him. Am I not invited here? I just plugged you. All right, cool. All right, Dustin, if you see this, she's not even trying to give you a shout out. No, Fuck he doesn't we'll deserve that. Oh. He should be here. You're his wife. Yeah, I know. He should be here. All right, everyone do a little quick mic check. Make sure that your mics work. Check, check. Our amazing, Hello. awesome, stellar Hello. production team forgot to do a mic check. And the only other gentleman on the panel, he looks as good as me today because we're wearing a very similar suit. Bruiser in the house, right? He started something called the Concur network and it's a educational platform that focuses on relationships and personal development yes sir did i get that right yes you did okay and you're coming across as very smooth very very gentlemanly but i know you you got some strong feelings strong feelings very strong so we're about to address some of that today um last but not least my lovely co-hostess natalia del valle she's in the house Her bathwater is on sale for all you free people Stay at home. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're gonna have that discussion today. <laughs> Nat, would you call yourself a bad bitch? I would call myself just a baddie. Bad a baddie. Bad. Just a baddie. Some Baddies may say that you're a baddie with a Jamaican patty. That's you. Ooh. That's what I say. That's what you say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's your Jamaican you patty. Uh, Jorge, <laughs> let's turn everybody's mics up, and then we got some special guests in the house today. We don't have cameras for them, Ooh. but the lovely. Mark Bediner, my cousin, and his lovely wife, Ali, are in the house. Bravo. Okay, and celebrating Naomi's, Naomi's birthday is your uncle. So we have a great crowd in the house today, is what I'm saying. And then there's hundreds, how many thousands of other people so many with their seats boys. here Woo! <laughs> uh, in the show <laughs> today. Us. Anyway, uh, here's where we usually start, and then we'll get this thing started. So uh, this is where finance meets romance, and wh- basically where relationships and money and all that kind of fun stuff intersect, which we'll be discussing today. So start off, why don't we start with you, Bruiser. Um, What do you do for work? What do you do? How do you make money and your relationship status? Go ahead. So I was in the military. I got medically retired. I'm a content creator, married, husband. All of my kids is within my relationship. Uh, I know it's a a stigma going around here, but uh, yeah, so I just, I just make content about, you know, promotion of marriage. You know, I know it's, uh, a lot of people are trying to go away with that because of the laws in the nation, but I'm here to say, hey, look, there's some hope. Look at me, look at my body of work, look at the results, and uh, come talk to me, man. I can help you with the deal. How long have you been married for? Almost a decade. Almost a decade. And how old are you? 36. Mm. 36. You got married at 26 <laughs> or almost. Um, and you have how many kids? I got one and one on the way. One. Congratulations. Uh, One's the one uh, uh, due. What was what? The second one due. Uh, August. 
All right. Can we get a round of applause for this guy right Yay. quick? No, that's that's on Jorge right there. Okay. Yeah, we got to keep him on his toes. It's not he falls asleep and sometimes he takes phone calls in the middle of a show, but no big deal, Jorge. Uh, so congratulations on that. Uh, Melina, yeah. how are you making your money and your relationship status? Um, I stream on Twitch. I do like other social media. That's pretty much how I make money. Okay. I do uh, relationship advice, like talking about emotions, chatting with my audience, whoever wants to talk about whatever, pretty much. Um, and then I travel around the world and I live stream it. That's what I do, mainly. Live streamer. Okay. Yeah. And relationship status, I know we alluded to it earlier, but... Married. Married. For a year and a half, I think. Okay. Yeah. And your lovely okay. husband's name? Destiny or Stephen? Stephen Bunnell? Destiny, okay. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could give him a plug right now, but you declined to Why do that earlier. Why is he here? All right. Everybody bring the mic closer <laughs> to themselves if you can. Okay, Lexi. Hello. In the house. What's up? By the way, if you have not seen what Lexi does online... I don't know. It's a. I don't know if we're allowed to even show it here. It's that. Oh, it's that not wild. that crazy. Uh, but maybe we might have some <laughs> videos for you. Um, how are you making your money in your relationship status? Most of my money comes from OnlyFans. Um, I'm a singer, so I make money touring and hosting and performing, um, brand deals, you know, influencer, celebrity type things, mm -hmm. online, merchandise, um, and I have a twerk out class. But I'm kind of re branding that so a twerk that's kind out of on hold at the moment but it's being rebranded yeah not a workout class i created twerk out in twerk 2014 out yes yeah. but i'm changing like the name and the colors and all these things there's a lot of people in the chat that want to know your relationship status where are you at right now? i'm single okay and what single, was your last single. relationship Real relationship was... Not a situation. <laughs> a lot of people got those This was days. over like a year ago. Okay. Yeah. I see Bruiser just steaming right now. As soon as you said OnlyFans and... Her. He's about... <laughs> we could talk about it. Oh, we're literally, that's what we're going to... The show is about. That's um, why I'm here. Naomi, it's your birthday. Yes. How you feeling? Oh, great. Tell us what Happy you do for birthday. work, how you make your money, and your relationship status. So, I'm a model. A model for the source in Model Scout. I'm also a hostess. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Yes, of course. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm also a hostess. A model and a hostess. Yes. What do you hostess? I host for Swan. Swan? Yes. Shout out to Dave Grutman there. Yes, in, uh, of course. In uh, Midtown, in the design district. Yes. Okay, yeah. And it's not like you're hostessing at Applebee's. You're hosting no. us at like one of the, <laughs> the nicest places restaurants in, Miami. in Miami. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm single. Okay. Yes. A lot of men sliding in the DM, I assume. Mm. Single and too young to mingle. More boys. Okay. Too young to mingle? I'm going to tell her. <laughs> yeah. More boys, not Just men. Just save it. Oh, gotcha. What, what's your advice to her? <laughs> Just save it for when you're a little older. <laughs> you don't need a boyfriend right now. Uh, not at all. Oh, save what? Save what? Yeah. Dealing with the headache of you men. Okay. Come on. Well, all right. Let's start <laughs> off the conversation here. Because, Let's start it off right. All right. So, Bruiser, you are very vocal online <laughs> about uh, oh, how so women great. should maximize their youth, their beauty, and everything that comes with being uh, associated with being a young feminine woman. Uh, you got Lexi over here basically saying, ah, too young, too soon, don't play that game. But you always say that, the, that women should capitalize on basically being 19 to 25. So Lexi's In what saying, area? this is what we're about to area? find out. Yeah. So what's your advice for this lovely young girl? So think of yourself as milk in the refrigerator. We expire? <laughs> is that what you're saying already? Yeah. Okay, no, no, <laughs> just cut this shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he didn't even get to finish cut his this statement. Shit off right now. All right, hold on. Let, let, let's see what crying. he has to say. I'm gonna need tissue. Let's see what he has to say before we start tossing him <laughs> oh, up. So, so you gotta you gotta try to get away from this 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 notion that it's about what you think. It's about what the man you want think. It's about what you want to track. <laughs> what? And it's just ask yourself if you, if you just look at yourself in the mirror and say, Okay. Am I am I more valuable than I was ten years ago, or five years ago? When you get forty years old. Wait, you what know, do you value? Hell yeah, I'm more valuable right now what, than what when I was 19, women? I'll tell you that. Well, it, it's not about what I value, it's what about the majority of men? Oh, what are the shit. probability Wait, of you running to men? so you think a relationship is just like women should be attractive, but like it shouldn't be what they value, or what do you mean? Well, value is... <sighs> you're more valuable when you're younger? Uh, absolutely. Why? Because you're more impressionable. What, why? What do you mean? How? Who? How? Yeah. Okay, so whenever you're younger, 
it's easier to uh, impress you. You know, when you're out here dating, uh, serial dating from one person to the next, uh, how a man a, has. How a does man, a woman impress you? How does a woman impress yeah. me? Her purity. What? Her what? That's it? Her purity? Her, her purity. Oh, oh purity. there's nothing okay, else gotcha. going on it's there. Re it's respect. It's not like what? how passionate is she or what experiences does she have? Nothing like that. It's just like how well, pure I'm, is I, she? How I, untouched is she? Like I a mean, child. It, it, that's it, it. That's what that, you that's care not about? It, but, it, but it goes a long way for a man to be able to have those experiences with you instead of having to step in and, and change your mind. You know what I mean? So if you, you've been dealing with a man for... So you want a mind control? No, nah, it's, it's not control. It's just having that shock factor. Just having that ability to say, I'm the one who, you know, gave her those, these, these prefaces that oh, she here. enjoyed, that she liked. You know, she situation. got it from me. Is that what you're All right, talking so about? What I like about this is Men we haven't even really started the show and girls are already getting triggered. Bru <laughs> bruisers, are, bruisers are already uh, getting upset and the birthday girl hasn't even spoken yet. But I don't even know. Here we go. Um, here's what we're going to do today, guys. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the SauceCast on Valuetainment, go ahead, give us a sub. Nat, what else do they need to be doing? Oh, that's the main thing. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share, because as you can see, today is about to get real spicy. Today's about to get so spicy. So let's get this party and, started. Uh, everyone's going to get a chance to speak, even the birthday girl. Here's what I want to do, because I feel like everyone has very strong opinions. I want to uh, kind of frame the entire conversation based on one of the more trending clips, stories that it's happening right now with... Uh, did, did anyone see the Call Her Daddy podcast with Gwyneth Paltrow on it yes. recently? Oh, I have. I have you? I have not. Okay. I so I learned a few things about Gwyneth Paltrow. Nobody's got a fucking body count list like this girl, in a good way, I mean. Like, the star-studded uh, dating roster that Gwyneth Paltrow has is out of this world. And I, I'm saying that as a straight dude, like, good for you, Gwyneth Paltrow. So uh, <laughs> let's pull up this story. So... Um, she was on the uh, Call Her Daddy podcast with Alex Cooper, and she revealed her uh, dating roster. By the way, I happen to think that Gwyneth Paltrow is a feminine, beautiful woman. Again, she's also 50 now. So I don't know, is that, would that qualify as expired milk? Like, what happens? <laughs> do you, what do you do at that point? <laughs> I don't even pay women that age. Come on, man. She's at, would, what happens you when your wife's that age? Kill to have Gwyneth. Paltrow. Well, see, it's different because she got hitched, you know, when she was younger. Okay, she gotcha. She seized the opportunity. Okay, and what's the age difference between you and your your woman? Six years. Six years. So you're 38, you said? 36. 36, and she's she's 30. She yeah. Okay, gotcha. But All what right. if she didn't seize the opportunity? What does she do for a living? Her career, her passion. She didn't do any of that. She just came, settled down, and had children. Yeah. Is that's, that what she wanted to do? Yeah, that's what she wanted to do. She had no choice. I mean, she, it's, she, <laughs> she had a choice. No, is that what but she here, wanted let's get, to do? Let's get to this story because this is going to open up an entire dialogue. So, by the way, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, see if we can pull up that, that clip that we had. Yeah. So, Gwyneth Paltrow, we all know what she looks like. Mm -hmm. See the top? She's spilling the, spilling the tea on her past romances, the famous guy she's uh, dated and turned down. So, basically, here's her roster, by the way. Leonardo DiCaprio, apparently. That's who she talks about. Brad Pitt. She was briefly married to Ben Affleck, Luke Wilson, Johnny Depp, and Chris Martin from Coldplay. Uh, if you can find me a chick that's been with as many A-plus celebrities as this girl, good on you, girl. So, but apparently, and this is where I want to start this conversation, uh, the one dude on that list between Brad Pitt, Ben Affleck, Luke Wilson, Johnny Depp, and Chris Martin that she rejected was Leonardo DiCaprio. And quote, unquote, back in the day, he tried back in the day but he was already very loose, and apparently he was 19 or 20 at that time. He was <laughs> very loose with the goods, so I turned him down. So uh, message out there to the gentleman out there, Leonardo fucking DiCaprio got turned down a couple decades ago. Look at him now. Now he only dates the hottest supermodels in the world, and speaking of expired milk, he will turn you down the day you turn 25. His, his thing, all right? So Lexi, you're, are you 30 yet or no? I'm 34 next so month. So you're 34? So you're... Leonardo DiCaprio would have called the milkman, had you out the door, like, in no time. Sorry <laughs> to hear that. You? However, I'm, you... I'm fresh meat. You are fresh meat for Leo. <laughs> Melina, you got one, one year, year left, woman. Go. You got Leonardo one get year How about that? left. Natalia's turned 21 five years in a row somehow, so you've got a chance with Leo. Um, <laughs> but... Um, ha, so let me ask you this question. Have you ever rejected a man when he was 19, 20, 21, and then you see him 10 years later, 
and he's 31 and he's got his shit together and you're like, ah, oh, now I'll give you a chance. Has that ever happened? No. No? Why? Because you just... The opposite. I had a crush on someone, they didn't like me, and then they came back and they were absolutely something I would never, never want to talk to. So you haven't noticed that men, I guess to use Bruiser example, age kind of like fine, fine wine oh, and get better? Oh, absolutely. Yes, okay. I do think that, of course. Okay, so you think that men are, men do get better with yes, age? Yes, they do. Okay, because I've heard you see... I think but I'm, I kind of like them young myself. How young? <laughs> You're 33 I'm or 34? I'm looking day older. You're 33 or 30? 30, I'm turning 34. When's your birthday? May 22nd. Oh, so it's coming up. Oh, You're yeah. turning 34. What was that? I said, oh, nice. That's Oh, great. okay. Nat. Gemini, baby. She's Gemini. happy that you have a birthday. Thank but, you. So you would do, you do agree that most men do get better yes, with age? absolutely. Okay. You like but a little salt and pepper? But then they start declining, too. Okay. How? Just like everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're dead, you decline. Like everyone's dead. Well, it's true. Everyone dies eventually. Listen, women do not just go down. That's not true. And if you're just talking about looks, maybe, sure. But, I mean, what's a person just looks? That's crazy. Well, based on sexual market value, yes, that's exactly what men look like for a woman. Well, he's like, over here going to be with his woman until death do them damn part. Yeah. She's not going to be looking how you think she's going to be looking, honey. Well, so what happens then? Well, when you get married and you get hitched earlier, you got you got enough time to establish other things that can compensate for whenever your looks start to depreciate. Well, so that's good. I'm so happy that's the benefit. That so way. just just being able to sit around with my wife and talk about just anything, you know, having that time, you know, made me appreciate other things besides her aesthetics. So Jeez. if you give yourself enough time and you able to build a relationship over a duration of time, you'll start these thoughts. These things start to expose themselves and reveal themselves. You don't think you're putting any limits on you guys? What do you mean by limit? You don't have any temptations that you uh, stop yourself from, that you're like, why not just do this instead? Yeah, I, I have temptations. We all have temptations, but you also got to... You're religious? Are you religious? I wouldn't... I, I guess you could say I'm religious. Yeah, that was actually I, a great question, because based on, on a lot of what you're saying, from my understanding, is a lot of it would be kind of biblical, like the role of the man, the role of a woman... Church going, good Christian, God fearing. I feel like a lot people, of people fall into the religion you know, aspect. How much of, does that play a part in, in your mindset? Uh, very, very uh, little. Really? Not a lot. Okay, so how'd you shape your mindset and your worldview? Well, I looked at it, you know, my own childhood, my own upbringing, and the things that I miss as far as being developed, developed into a male, you know, where I can actually go out and be successful. And when I realized that I didn't have my father in the household, it, it, it dawned on me later in life, you know, why I was failing at so many things or why I didn't understand a lot of things. So I know that if, if, if I'm going to go out here and uh, have sex or do anything, and if I want ch children, it's best to get married so that I can give them the best shot at life because I know the importance of having a dual parent household. Are you so, a big stats guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've seen the stats of basically uh, children from a single mother household end up not doing well in school, end up more on drugs, depression, jail, the whole, the whole thing. Whereas versus a dual parent household, typical nuclear family, the results are so much better. The, 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 what about the a anomaly male household? In that, the anomaly, hold on. The, the anomaly in that is children raised by just a father turn out to be just as well as Raised as in a traditional nuclear family. Are these the kind of stats that you're referencing? 100. Mm percent -hmm. Go deeper on these stats. What's your biggest takeaway? So my biggest takeaway from that is that the man is is a pivotal, is a critical piece to to the development of any child, whether it's a boy or girl. Okay. So whenever you remove that, it come it, it comes to your mind. It's, it just make you think like, is there an agenda behind this? Because we got all these societal norms. You got this pressure. You got consumerism that's causing women to want to be, you know, city girl lifestyle. A hot girl summer. What does that do to the nuclear family? What does that do to the kids? And then whenever we get into the dating market and you can't find a suitable mate, a lot mm -hmm. of these young, a lot of these men are coming from single mother households and they're not privy to. Well, to let me ask the girls a question because I think this would be a good thing to know. Would each of you uh, describe your relationship with your father? What's your relationship with your father? Um, it's it's complicated, but I mean, I love him. He's my dad. He will always be my dad. So no matter what, you go through hard times and mm -hmm. you work them out. Are your parents still together? They're not. They're not. And when you say it's complicated, like, how so? Um, there were just many factors to it that 
caused a lot of drama. Papa was a rolling stone. Okay, we remember that stone. Uh, Lexi, what's your relationship like with your father? Me and my dad have been very close. This past year, we've actually gotten to our first argument. Ever? In yes. life? What do you mean, first? Like, not talking. Like, I'm not talking to him. He's not talking to me. Since first when? First time, since forever. This is the first time. How about when you were a teenager in college? No, what was your no, we've always talked. We've been when very When you started close. doing OnlyFans and becoming one of the most famous twerkers in the world, what did your father say? He supported me all the way. Straight up? Yeah. Were you giving him money? No. So why would he support that? Like, what I mean, was it meaning? Just, like, I'm not questioning he that. He just supported. But I mean, I, w I was just shaking. I was creating a twerk out class, shaking ass. He didn't. I mean, I don't know. He didn't care. It was. I think like, most fathers are going to care genuine, if you're twerking like, it out and shaking some <laughs> ass. No, it was a fitness dance class based around twerking. It wasn't. I mean, it's okay. not like a, I'm not a fans, porn star. You know, it's not crazy, crazy where you would think. What do you do on OnlyFans? Um, I dance. I do lingerie photos. I okay. chat. I what does your father think videos, about uh, everything? What is your? I, I've never been subscribed to OnlyFans. I've been with some OnlyFans girls. Shout out, out to you girls, <laughs> but uh, not. not <laughs> I've never been on uh, OnlyFans, but um, <laughs> shout out, ladies. Um, what does You're your father say out. about that? I'll get it in real life. Um, believe me. <laughs> he did. You'll get it in real life. He, did, he didn't really know what it was at first. And then he's like, oh, cool. You're making money off like videos, whatever. And then he got a little touchy when his friends started saying things. Hello, <laughs> yes. Yeah. What were his friends saying? Uh, like, oh, she has an OnlyFans. Like, you know, just trying to mock him or something. And at that point, is that why you stopped talking? No, we, started ta we stopped talking because of family issues not like only fan stuff should he, he should stop talking to his friends that's what yeah i thought that his friends shouldn't you think really he should come stop up talking to, to his friends because yeah, they came up to him and said yeah weird. if my if my like, dad because oh, they're, they're looking at a hot chick twerking yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they shouldn't weird. be saying like he knows so it's like why are you coming up to me talking about this yeah, like that's not stuff you're just like supposed to say it's about it well it's about your image i'd be like yeah i know like why are you bringing up my daughter's fucking you know thing like doesn't make any sense well I don't know your father. I don't know and his like, friends. Why are you you kind are of creeping a on my figure. OnlyFans. You've got millions of subscribers. They didn't subscribers. have to click the subscribe button on my OnlyFans. My dad's friends. That's a little awkward. I've known them since I was like this big. Even then, they definitely didn't have to talk and to me. And it's your not dad like I'm it. doing anything nude or anything on there, but it's still the. That's just gotcha. a little weird. It was enough to trigger his friends to ask your father. Obviously, I'm a sex icon. I get it. I understand <laughs> that. But that doesn't mean you go up to my dad and you're like, oh, Being I saw your it. fucking daughter on. <laughs> Bitch, why are you looking? Like, I okay. whip your ass right there. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't give <laughs> like, you a follow-up question, Lexi, on um, a sex icon. <laughs> what about it? What makes you a sex icon? What makes me a sex icon? Wait, look All at her. All 630,000 subscribers on OnlyFans, I would suggest that's part of it. So that's part of it. What else? How I'm just a sex icon. I don't know. People I, I, just I'm make generally me out to I'm, be that. Like, it's just all sex. Guys love me because I'm visually pretty and sexual and all that shit that they say I am. Sex icon. Got it. Check the box on sex icon. I'm right, an icon. It okay. is what it you is. and Jaden Smith. Sure, he's hot too. <laughs> well, that was his song. Oh. Uh, Melina, how do you not know that? You're in the music business. I don't fucking know. What is that? His song? Sex Icon? No, I don't listen icon. to everything. Anyway, Melina, mm -hmm. you know that song, right? Crossed me over. Melina, what's your relationship like with your father? We're very close. He was just visiting. He just left today. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's probably one of the people that I look up to a lot. Yeah. And what does he say about your lifestyle? The stuff that I do? Um, yeah. He thinks that I should do whatever makes me happy, and he All supports right. it. He okay. thinks that I should do whatever I want. He doesn't understand, like, the world right now with all the Christians and red pills and conservatives because he doesn't understand why those people are trying to push other ways of living to people that are just doing whatever the fuck they want or are happy. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. I, I think yeah. the reason that I asked you this, a lot of girls, uh, I mean, we started the whole conversation with the show Call Her Daddy, a lot of women, you know, the, what do men say usually, Bruiser? Like, oh, the job of a man, the job of a father has one major job. Keep his daughter off the pole. That's it. You've heard this before. Like, yeah. you're like, that's it. Like, job done. <laughs> so how many women that are on the pole, in your girl's opinion, quote, unquote, on the pole, however you want to define that, stripping, sex work, OnlyFans even, not that you're doing that, would you say have daddy issues? What do you think, Naomi? I mean... It could be any type of issues. Any family issues, I think, is major. Whenever, Trauma. Yes, whenever it's daddy issues, it, there's always something else to it. It's never just daddy issues. Okay. Mm. And you know, you have friends that do OnlyFans? You're 19, so you're young as hell. 
Um, but I, you're in the modeling world. Do you have how many of your girls that you're friends with associate with models that you know or doing any sort of OnlyFans sex work, anything that would be categorized in that? Not much. Not many? No, not many. Okay. Daddy issues. Do you think a lot of girls that are doing OnlyFans? Probably more so. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? What, like, I have daddy issues. Well, they don't have to worry about, if they're not, if they're not, like, talking to their fathers, like, I probably, all hell would break loose, too. Shit, I'd be doing shit I wouldn't even imagine. So, that's what I want (laughs) to get, that's what I want to get to the heart of. Because you don't have anyone to be like, oh, like, they're not judging me, they're judging me. So, like, here, I'll give you an example. Like, I've had a very checkered past with my dad, right? Very contentious, but guys having father, daddy issues... Like, I'm not stripping. Mommy like, I'm not like, all right, let me go out there issues, eh? and get in these streets Wait, and uh, start woman, selling my, my body on OnlyFans. It's not, a, it's not a, a thing that guys, you know, will turn what them into this world. What would you want to? Yeah, you, you, you found, <laughs> you revealed. I gotcha. You got me. But what, what is it about a woman that, ha, that uh, daddy issues will lead them to end up doing sex work, OnlyFans, dealing with guys that... Um, basically have toxic issues, trauma, all that. What is it about daddy issues that drives women that route, in your opinion? Probably just to get a man's approval. If you can't get it from your father, then you probably look for it for someone else. A man's approval. Yeah. Got it. What would you say? Like I said, if you don't have parents around, you don't have someone over your shoulder saying, oh, my God, you should or shouldn't do this. So people feel like they have, they can do more and be more free and more whatever. Okay. In Lena? public also. I don't think that um, every single person that does sex work has daddy issues or that, that necessarily have to be the case every single time. No, but I it didn't could say be, that. I didn't it say could be every like single one thing. Yeah, that, okay. yeah, it could be one thing that someone but could do. But would you agree that, that, in your opinion, having daddy issues is a recipe for heading, heading in the wrong direction? I feel like we all have daddy and mommy issues. Who said it's the wrong direction? <laughs> well, we just I don't said think it necessarily has to be that like case. Porn but and fucking online. I mean, you're probably going to have like. What? Someone, people like having sex and doing things like this online, and it doesn't have anything to do with them hating anything or being a I mean, anyone that has trauma from childhood has trauma from childhood, right? What percentage, of people, are wrong, what percentage of people are having sex online? It could be a 1%. It doesn't mean that they're doing something wrong. No, I'm not saying that, but a, a lot of times it will come is. from trauma or. Um, as Who you said, approval. Who doesn't have trauma in their damn life? They just take it out in different ways. I agree with you. We all have trauma. Yeah. We have problems. Some but people doesn't murder need, people. Need to yeah, lending the pole. Different types Bruiser, trauma, go ahead. Different types of trauma causes different types of results. Some people effects. beat their wives. Some like there's a lot meat. of different ways some, some things people could go. attack right? dogs and it animals. It doesn't necessarily have to be this. Some people do things. It could be all sorts of different things that people do when they have trauma or something happens to them as children or something. It doesn't necessarily have to just be one thing. Right, and Makes every sense. single human has some sort of problem, most likely from the childhood. That's why they are the way they are, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, but it, but it becomes it becomes very hard to deal with whenever the the things that you do, the activities that you participate, have an effect on children. You know, they're the vulnerable. You know, whenever you go out here, can you and, give an example? Like what? Okay, so whenever you go out here and get on a pole, or you go out here and be promiscuous, and you having kids. Now you got to raise these kids alone without a father. And, and we just gave you this. He just gave well, you this. Well, you have wait, to wait, have wait, not wait. a father Wait, involved. wait. Are you saying that if you go on a pole, the father is going to leave when you father? get pregnant? What are you talking about? No, I'm just saying when you go out here and you be promiscuous, you hopping from one man to the next. And you well, right. isn't that the, isn't that the husband's fault? Or are you saying like, How is it a husband's fault? No, but like if the dad leaves, isn't that on the dad? It's not on the woman for not behaving. If the dad leave or if the dad get kicked wait, out? Aren't you saying that if there's a woman that's being sexual and like if on the pole or whatever, she's doing sex work. a woman is out. Here, if a woman is out here dating it. with no intentions of a committed relationship, no intention of having a family, no intention of giving proper develop to, to the kids, and right, then you have these statistics that he just he just laid out. It's not because she's on a pole. It's because the relationship didn't work out. Yeah, and like if the dad decides yeah, to leave, isn't that on the dad to not take care anything. of the children? Yeah, or like trying to figure it out. It's not on the woman. Like so, it's on the woman's fault. So, fall. so at, the what rate, at what rate is the dad awarded custody, custodial rights to the kids? What, it, it, wait, hold on. So if you knock a stripper up, let's say that that happens, and you're like, I'm not taking care of this child because the mom is the way she is, and I'm just going to leave. Isn't that on you? Or why Absolutely. wouldn't you take care of the well, children first of yourself? All, first of all, you're, 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 you're saying that the man that's having sex with these strippers or these women on these poles is already inclined to having kids. And I'm telling you that in most cases, these men are even not trying to have kids with you. Yeah, I think the message of the men out there is, uh, well, if you're going to go be paying, gonna uh, ladies someone. and gentlemen, we can't all yeah. talk at the same time here. Uh, so let's relax. If you're going to be 
banging strippers, wrap it up. I think that's uh, that's the easiest yeah, thing to do. Yeah, don't be banging the girls okay. if you don't want to. We, we understand that. Yeah, yeah, but let's get back to let's get back Men on track here. I already feel like a fucking traffic cop right now. So everyone just. <laughs> Relax Keep for a your second. Dick in your pants. I get. I, everyone's gonna get a chance to speak, but we're, it's the birthday girl's uh, <laughs> birthday, so let's get back to this. So, <laughs> if we could use, as I said, this story with Gwyneth Paltrow and her A-list roster to basically um, frame a narrative here. We talked about her rejecting Leonardo DiCaprio, the law of supply and demand. Uh, Leo basically his his uh, value only skyrocketed from two decades ago. Now you know with. Forgive me if you're if you're Gwyneth's age, he wouldn't even fucking pay attention to a woman her age. He's only messing with girls Molina's age. Sorry, you wouldn't qualify as gorgeous as you are. I feel like you would definitely qualify in Leo's True. world. Leo, but Leo bangs everybody. If they're under 25. <laughs> but for a man, what I'm saying is, at at a young age, uh, you might not have fulfilled your potential, and you might get rejected. Not that every guy's Leo, but at a young age, you might get rejected when you're older you probably will have the world uh, in your hands, a la Leo over here. But then after Leo, let's, let's just keep going down the path here. She ended up dating and marrying Brad Pitt. You ever heard of Brad Pitt? Oh, yeah. Speaking oh, yes, of sex so. icon, Lexi <laughs> Pantera. Brad Pitt. Uh, they met in 1994 on the set of Seven, if you ever saw that movie. Ridiculous. What's in the box? What's in the box? If you ever saw that ridiculous movie. They got engaged uh, a, a year later, 1995-96, but then they called it off a few months later, quote unquote, this is the reason why, and this is what I want to hear from you, and you guys weigh on this. She said, I, I would think I was a kid. I was 22 and I just wasn't ready. He was too good for me, and I honestly do think that I was too young and I didn't know what I was doing. So my question for you ladies and for Bruiser is, she's saying that she was 22, going to Paltrow, and that she was too young to be a good wife, too young to get married, too, too young to even be ready for that type of lifestyle. You were basically encouraging the lovely Naomi here to fucking not go down any sort of serious path of young. life because she's too young. You're basically saying, hey, you should take advantage of your youth. So let's have this conversation. So basically what I'm what, saying what is... Age, what age do you think is appropriate for a woman to really be in a serious relationship or even marriage? Well, from my point of view, uh, it's important that the father covers them from from himself, from himself to, to the man that she wants to marry. Because a woman don't have the ability to make the discernment on whether or not she's a wife of material or, or a suitable wife to a man. That's why it's important for the, and if you look back in the days, a man would walk his, 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 his daughter down the aisle and pass him off. That's a passing off of possession. Like a child. I mean, not possession <laughs> like ownership, but it's just, it's, it resembles, hey, look, I, I'm covering you, I'm responsible for you. I've seen, I've seen this man, he's, he's, wor he's worthy of uh, taking you as a wife uh, mm -hmm. uh, and a husband. Here you go. We don't have that no more. And it's important to have that because women don't have the ability to just make the discernment on whether or not they are they can they can choose the right you know man to be a husband in their life. That's why you have a father in the house to help you with that. Got it. You're saying that women are not equipped or capable to make and, the right decisions. They are incapable. That is why we're women, the ones who say yes to you. If you, you if guys, you think you about it, oh, incapable guys. of what? Making the right discernment. They don't even Living know at a certain age or period. <laughs> period. You're saying that women are not capable of making well, accurate decisions? Well, I would say this. I would yeah. say when they become capable, it's after trial and error. And that's whenever they racked up a body count. You know, they got all this baggage and all this tra trauma, and they become in un un unimpressionable. And then they, now they're capable. Unimpressionable. But then now you got all this baggage, and now you want this man. You got all these expectations for this man, but you done been ran through by Tom, Dick, and Harry. How so, many... How many uh, and then I'm going to open it up to the ladies because this is this is the ladies' situation. But how many, quote unquote, bodies, puts them at a certain level of trauma where they're able to make better decisions? I would say, uh, I would say, I would say, uh, it depends on their age. Twenty-two-year-old woman like Gwyneth Paltrow in this situation. Two, two. So two is a number that is a fine number that's like that's they, they it's not a high body count it's not a low body count like yeah i would i would give a woman two bodies after that is it's just she's a lost what cause. about for a 30 year old woman same thing <laughs> two no to, for a 30 year old woman you think two is what i think two is too many i think after two is just too many bruiser Why? and i mean this with all due respect <laughs> Are you living in reality right now, brother? What woman who's 30 years old do you think only has a two body count in the world today? Probably I'm not, not. saying that. I know one. That, 
Who, <laughs> you know one. one. Okay, only fan right there. Um, mm -hmm. So respect to you if that's your belief, no doubt. But are we living in reality that you think a 30-year-old woman is only going to have a two-body count? Well, if you're living in a world where you want to prioritize marriage and you want to find a suitable wife, we're talking about a suitable wife. Yeah. Then it's best that you try to hone in on that moment when she had less trauma between partners. I got a thing. Just Go ahead, Lexi. So, so men want to feel validated and appreciated and feel like they're on top of the world by their woman. So what he's saying is the girls who have had multiple men we've been impressed so maybe more might have to it, it take more to impress us because we've already dealt with seeing things oh no he doubt wants to be the man yeah. that comes in and is like oh i want to show her all of these things for the first time yeah. because it makes him feel like he's the man yeah so i understand i don't want you saying. to come i don't want by you the to way you said that very well yeah. i think most men want i fully agree Thank with you. that i just told so the yeah, story the so other day so it takes a real fucking strong strong man i don't know where he is to deal with me <laughs> you probably okay? don't pass him up because listen i've been around yes i have had so many different ethnicities different ages types business successful not successful men in my life dated and How i many? haven't found the one the one mm. i want to call my husband mm. um well, and shout it, out to Baskin Robbins over gonna here. It's going to take it's 31 gonna take flavors. Some fucking, Lexi, bring, yes, that, bring that a little flavors. bit closer. Bring it's your, gonna your take mic, some time, buddy. Your mic closer. Uh, Naomi, let me man. let you weigh in. When you hear Gwyneth <laughs> Paltrow say that she thinks she was too young, 22, you know, your bruiser basically saying now's the time to capitalize. Walk me through the mindset of what's going through a 19, 20 year old woman's like, is marriage even on your mind? Is kids even on your mind? Or you're like, bro, I just graduated <laughs> high school a year ago. What are you fucking even talking about right now? What's going through your mind? Well, honestly, I feel like I have a very different mindset than most. I don't really believe in marriage. I mean, not in this day and age, maybe back then, but the way things are going, the way people act, I just definitely don't think it's in the cards for me. I'm not saying for other people, but... Okay, well, let me use Bruiser's logic. At 19, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So... <laughs> How, meaning respect to you, I get it, but your, your opinions and your outlook on life might change by the time you're 21, 25. I mean, it changes oh, all the time. Sure. Okay, and so that's you why go. I say merit, like, don't do it yet because I feel like we change so much. But I'm not to say that you don't learn so much about yourself when you're dating somebody. I think you definitely learn, like, a lot of things coming out of a relationship, which, which I think is very important. And that's why I'm grateful to be in the relationships that I had been in and learned from them about myself for sure. But I would definitely say take time because you just need to focus on you, yeah. yeah. Quick, quick uh, question. Um, with your content, so like for, for instance, why I do this show, my goal. Um, I wanna help men improve, right? And whether that's financially, physically, with women, game, lifestyle, we're a men self-improvement uh, show. And, but part of that is I feel, I feel like if men improve, women will receive better men, men will get better women, and, and that's why I bring women on the show to address oh, yeah. the topics of the day, because I think you guys all want the best version of a man, mm -hmm. right? Like you don't want some loser sloppy, like you said you've been with broke men, loser men, all different all types, types of flavors. Yes. I assume at this point you want the best, the best highest the value best man possible. Yes. All right, cool. That's why I do this show. Uh, what's your outcome uh, not only doing your show, but like with your mindset, like do you, is your goal to educate men? Is your goal to try to convince women to basically act right? Like what's your goal? <laughs> My goal is to, to get men to recognize, you know, the most optimal uh, period in their life to make the decision whether they want a wife. Uh, if you want a wife, if you want to commit a relationship, it's best to try to find your wife young. You got, you got two choices. You're either going to play the field or you're going to find your wife when you're young in your 20s in college or whatever. Because once you get to age 30, 35 years old, which typically is the age range when men, men are mostly on, they, they reach their purpose. You know, they reach their prime. At what age? 35. Yeah, Around 35, 40. Cool. So when you get around that age, then you look at the, the woman, the group of women you get to choose from, the probability of you running into a woman who don't already have kids is 20%. You know, it's very low. It's an 80% chance of you running a woman. And a lot of these guys don't want to be a, a stepfather. So what do you do? You have to, now, now that you're 35, 40, now you got to target women that are younger in yeah, their 20s in college. And what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with okay, it. Okay, player. That's what I want to know. 
There's women, a lot wrong with it. Women, they're not mentally prepared. Women say, women right, think of someone. They're not mentally prepared to date older men like that. No way. Who's not? What? You 20 year olds. I didn't say 20 year olds. See, see, that's the You problem. said after college, 20, that's 20 something. No, well, I don't know if you went to college, but usually what, you're 22, what, I did 23 go to college after college. For about what do you years. call being mentally prepared? <laughs> What is mentally because prepared? Because it sounds like you're trying to find someone really young like, with no experience. Shape them or something that to is, like, that because you're so insecure that do, someone else do, might have been beforehand Adam, there. Adam, yeah. Why would you want a woman like. that had experience with other... Why, because you're insecure. How, so how would you feel, Adam? How would you feel if a woman came up to you and y'all and y'all got together and y'all getting ready to do to do and she said, hey, this is my favorite position. Instead of, wouldn't it be better if all right, you? Well, all right, you want me to answer that? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, is your girl gonna tell you that? Or I'm what? like, all right, let's give it in then. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying, if this if this was supposed to be your wife, if this is somebody yeah. you're looking for to be your wife now, yeah. wouldn't it be better to to, to have an experience one? to where you <laughs> could give no her her experience? favorite position? All right, this might an be this might be a controversial that, topic, especially in Red Pill. An Brother, I don't want a virgin. Like I'm not at this point in my life in my early 40s. I'm not. What a like a virgin? Hell no, that ain't no fun. A child. I, I, at the and same I'm time, Lex. at the same time, I'm not trying to be with some fifty body count woman. There is some discretion, but mm -hmm. again, it's an age thing. Like if you're my age, if you're forty two, what what do you think is completely over the limit of the amount of uh, sexual partners a girl that I would end up being with should be? For and me, it, and we're talking about marriage. Yeah. Well, I mean, every man is different, but me specifically, uh, you're talking about the body count? How many? For me, partners? exactly. If I'm 42 year old, well, Adam, multimillionaire, Adam, got money, got a show, got things going on, hey, have friends, have we a going thing. On a date soon? How we do? No, Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by your age. Exactly. I'm out I there. Like I've got girlfriends. I like. Full disclosure. What's the 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 highest amount of uh, sexual partners a girl that I should be with should have? Don't say two, please. I'm gonna say two. <laughs> but can I ask you a question? You want her to be your wife? Okay. Can I ask you a question? Just, why two? Brother, why not three? Why not again. one? Why or, two? Why is two your number? Of, I just, that's it. Listen, that's his number, and let's let him answer that. I just don't know how realistic that is. A girl with two bodies is not gonna tell you this is my favorite position, by the way. And if she does, she's lying to that's you. That's not necessarily true. She your might have been a boyfriend. Your wife might say it because for... you'll get to know her and you'll know where her favorite position is, but she's never gonna tell you. You're just gonna know at that point. Yeah, I mean, do you want a water? Good. Well, I gave two to the number, with it, with it, suggesting that she was a 20, I think you said 22-year-old. No, let's say the average girl I date these days is like mid-20s to late-20s. So, so the way I calculate the, the, the limit of uh, partners, <laughs> what I did was I did a little research. Why are you research. laughing? Because he's saying he's doing the, math. the way I calculate, I, 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 I'm just dying No, let here. him do his math. What are you I, talking I, about? Do your fucking he's good. Math. Well, so, so, I, so I come up with this number eight by the time you get 35. And the reason... Eight? The reason why I would come up with eight is that that's enough. That's how many kids a woman can have between 18 <laughs> and 35. That suggests she math. had her first. I've been bad at that. Suggesting, bad. you know, she had her first child <laughs> at 18 and her last child at 35. How many kids can a woman have between 18 and 35? Granted, she takes the, uh, the, the, the duration of time you're supposed to heal, the recommended medical duration of time you're supposed to heal, which is, I think it's 15 months, 15 to eight, 12 to 18 months or whatever. Okay. So if you calculate all that, you'll get a number eight. Mm -hmm. So that is how I come with the, the, the number eight. It's the, the height. The Can eight. I ask well, if you, do you think women enjoy sex? Yes, absolutely. If you calculate okay. the number of times a guy can get a girl pregnant, y'all might as well be single. Why are you even in a relationship? If we're calculating. But see, the thing is that Welcome you're Welcome to Lexi's show out here, everybody. <laughs> just. I'm just saying, he's over here calculating how many bodies and blah, blah, blah. But it's like guys can get... A hundred girls pregnant, fucking in a day. But that don't so mean we should do it though. Married? Why? Why yeah. we? Why should Gang we? Gang is gone. Doesn't really well, exist. Wait, wait, it's crossing yours out at that point. Your calculations don't Why should we do matter. it just because we can do it? Like, what's your body count? My body count. Great question, Melina. That's a high one, huh? <laughs> I don't count my bodies. Yeah, I'm sure uh, you do. Too many names, brother. Nah, nah. Man, I, mean, I feel you though. Suddenly he can't do that. Do you want to have a child with every single one of them? Do I what? Did you want to have a child with every single person you slept with? No. No. no I didn't so do you have... think women do the same or do I think women want to have a child with every person yeah. they sleep with? No. But I think no, that, that's I why think, the abortion pill I and the think, fucking yeah, exactly. after technology. morning after pill is so uh, such a big deal. Y'all was about that? that one at least. Like you said, technology has allowed it to be a, a afterthought. Do you think okay, how about this for the panel? Guys, I got a whole fucking yeah. two cards. We're just throwing <laughs> we ain't getting we'll rip these things up. We're just <laughs> Welcome to Lexi Pantera's show, Virgin I Lex. I know, I know. Um, it's okay. <laughs> question for the panel. 
Uh, is there a difference between a men's body count and a woman's body count? So, for instance, if a man slept with 10 people and a woman slept with 10 people, is that exactly the same? What happens if it's more? Is there a difference between a men and woman's sexual partners? Melina, go ahead. Um, I don't think there should be a difference, but just because we live in a society where sex is very negative for women to do, um, it's probably going to be harder for a woman to feel comfortable sleeping around. But if she does and she has no problems with it and she likes doing it, then there's not really an issue or a difference at all. No. So you think it's pretty similar? Yeah, I think it is. Like logically, yeah, it okay. is. Okay. Yeah. Lex, is it similar? Um, yes and no. I'm kind of going with her answer yeah. here. Okay. Why, why is that? I mean, when you hear of a guy who has 10, you're like, oh. And you hear of a girl, you're like, oh. That's a little <laughs> more. I don't know. It just is what it is. Yeah, we grew okay. up in a society where it's a little different. But I'd like to think that it's the same. Uh, all right, I'll let you weigh in on this. Is it the same? I mean, I would like to say it is the same, but it's not. Why is it not the same? Just because the society this day is like... Okay, you're talking about the double standard. Yeah, I feel About a man, is. if he sleeps with a bunch of uh, women, he's a pip, he's a cool guy, he's a stud. If a woman does it, she's a whore. It's, it, yeah. it's, what's that? I can give you an example. Let's okay. say that there's someone that grew up in like a really Christian society and they're sleeping around. There's probably going to be a bit of a difference um, with that girl in that case, like why she's doing the things that she's doing because she's around... Uh, a lot of people that's saying that this is not okay. okay. But like for me, who grew up in Sweden, where it's not really a big deal, we're not really yeah. religious, we're not conservative in the same way as a lot of places in America, it's not really much of a difference. That's okay. the Okay, Bruiser, how much of a difference is it between a men and woman body count? And I, granted, for this scenario, let's use the number more than two. Okay. <laughs> so there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge difference because yes. the, cause what a woman is, it's an emotional toll, it's an emotional trauma on her body. You know, she's submitting to it. every man. Is, I'm is, dominant, okay? I don't submit to anyone. Uh -oh. Y'all don't have any emotions, <laughs> is that what you're saying? So, Y'all are emotionless? I'm, I'm going to tell you, the, the biggest difference is uh, when a woman has a, a, a high rate or a high frequency of partners coming in, coming in and out of her body, <laughs> You can see it in her mouth. You know, her tonsils are swollen. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but, uh, but, it, but, but, but it's, it's a huge difference. I mean, a lot of women, you know, I they wear it, they wear it on their appearance. You know, they wear it in their, their mentality, their character. It's, it bleeds into their personality. When a man has sex with a multiple, it doesn't. He can. You would never know. You know, you would never know. He'd be the same. He'd just come in here. You know, his character is still the same. You know, come on here, maybe just host the show. You'll never know. You don't, don't even, you don't even know that he just, he just, he just had a train or whatever. So, he just bagged a couple of joints. But the woman, yeah. she, she come in here. Her, you know, she, her face is red. She, she looks like she's been battered. Her hair. Her, her, I don't but, got no Wait, did I have ten guys one. before I came here? Yes or no? No. So you think you can tell? <laughs> I was like, did I get much <laughs> before I came here? Marina, what was the question? How many people did I have before I came here? Uh, out of respect to my man Destiny, I would just say one. <laughs> a zero today. Fine. So you're saying you can like a trick question. tell people's body Because that was last week. Because yeah. I don't understand what's how you count? see in yeah. someone, like someone walks in like just like in yeah. fear of a dick that just entered her. Like I don't yeah. really think that's how it works. I do understand, like, I, I guess at a basic <laughs> level, a man is doing the inserting or the woman. I get that. From, but I will say this, ladies, and I want to get your opinion on this. Um, and then we'll move on to other topics other than body count. But I will say this. Um, if I know a dude that slept with 100 women, there's a lot that that dude had to do to even convince 100 women to have sex with him. For example, convince. he needed to be good looking. He needed to be funny. He needed to be cool. He needed to have money. He needed to have access. He needed to have a network of people. He needed to have connections. He needed to have jokes. He needed to be nice, but don't be too nice because girls like it rough, but don't be too rough or she's going to call the cops. There's a lot of fucking different things that a guy has to navigate if he's going to deal with 100 different women, let's say. But now, if a woman is going to have sex with 100 men, let's say, what does she need to do? She needs to go get herself a nice outfit. And open her legs. Up. And open her fucking legs, exactly. So, <laughs> would you like to retract your last statement that it's a little bit different between a man and a woman? You've kind of answered my question already. Sure, Lexi. you guys try harder, sure. We have to do more. Yeah. It's not that we try harder, it's that we have to do more. Right. Okay? It's a lot harder for a man to do all that and accomplish all those things for a young, hot woman to be like, all right. Like, for instance... If a hot ass girl, if you, Lexi Pantera, the sex icon, sex icon walked into a room, straight up, uh -huh. a crowded bar, this is a real scenario, crowded bar, 
and hey, does anybody want to have sex with me tonight? <laughs> how many dudes are like, yo, what's up, baby? Like, <laughs> how many? All of them. All of them. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, if Bruiser and I, <laughs> successful dudes, good looking dudes, we might have the same suit on, I don't know. However, if we walked into a bar and we shouted out, hey ladies, serving some dick up, anyone wanna have sex with me, every single girl would be like, you fucking scumbag, and walk the other way. No, we're going to jail. Actually, you you think I'll get some? Doing that. If I do get some, well, that think, girl has a lot of red flags. I think oh, you trust saying, that. What? She does. Okay. What's no. in your bank account? No, I don't think What's in your bank account? Yeah, well, that's What's the thing. If you want a girl with two, two bodies, but we want... You want what? Money in an account then, honey. Okay. And that's so fair. So you better be balling. It better be balling or do what? To have me. Okay. But he wants two body counts. And you better a, be balling. And that's just a. <laughs> Why are they laughing back behind the booth? <laughs> it is, they, is well, they got all, but but do you understand my point? At the very least, Melina, I know that you sometimes yeah. can be agreeable and sometimes you can be disagreeable. Yeah, so, be either one right now. Do I have a point here? So, who do you think needs to be more cautious of who they are around? What do you think is like more of a danger? Like for who, men or women? Because I could go out and fuck people, right? easily but am i really going to be safe am i going to have someone listen to my needs am i going to have someone that's not going to hurt me or something like that right yeah you have because to be you, you way probably, more cautious yeah you yes. would probably need to do that in the same way i wish i didn't have to i wish i could just do that and just get like a reasonable person but there's like so many games that's like involved with everything so right? what's your point um my point is is that sure a girl could just have like a hundred people or whatever right yeah but still would probably need to think about things right like yeah. just because of like how men can be we so selfish in some ways yeah, we have Melina, to be more, i don't know if yeah. you meant to do this but you're essentially you're proving bruiser's point is that you should be way way more cautious yeah. and discerning but I don't, with who you have sex with because yeah, there's sure. a lot of so if we have trauma that, that can come yeah, with sure. it so, if we have so a woman, due respect to the lovely sex sure. icon yeah, over here but it's not, maybe you don't go the baskin robbins route no but let's <laughs> say that you go to an orgy and you <laughs> hey, sign baskin papers when are we going? Nice. <laughs> let's say that you go to an orgy you sign papers and all that stuff and you're doing like an actual thing where everything is safe and fine in that context, it's okay, right? Well, you know, all right. Yeah. We're not in your uh, world. Uh, what kind of is, paperwork is being my, signed before we go to an orgy? Point, I've never, you know. What do you an mean? Orgy, of you course, said? you need to do that. Yeah. Like a sex party, you got to sign. You got to sign shit. And all what that do you mean? Stuff. Guys, you know, I've been around the block. <laughs> this is so <laughs> new yeah. to me. Yeah. Signing NDAs before I go to a sex orgy. <laughs> a party. Naomi, you stay the far away from these young women, okay? I don't have sex I have, you have a bright orgies. future whoa, ahead of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you've signed an NDA? I said to go to sex parties, you have to sign. Did you sign the NDA? No, Cap. I did not sign Cap. an NDA. I could talk about whatever I want to talk <laughs> about. <laughs> did you sign? I haven't been to sex orgies and stuff like that, but I don't think that you How can do you have- How know about like, this? Like, you just I, my point is, is that you can be a woman that is very sexually open, that has a high body count. Okay. Like how many, how many days would it take for you to have 100, right? Like it's like one each day, but let's say that it's like five years, you had 100 people. How many days during that year would it actually be that you're seeing someone in that case? But let's say that you like, I, for a man, you can, yeah, go out and like do whatever the fuck. Like, I think men should fuck around. I think women should fuck around. But of course, we have to be more careful. But still, there's a certain amount of time, right? And yeah. you can fuck around and you can be safe. That's cool. But still, we I have think to think about it more. I think you're proving our point here, yeah. Melina. Yeah? Huh? That, men, that women should be more careful. That's yeah, right. of course. But it doesn't mean okay. that we don't, should, that we shouldn't fuck toxic. around. <laughs> of course, we can fuck around. Do you? Uh, all right, yeah. moving on. This. The the, uh, the the train wreck that is episode 109 <laughs> is full effect. All Are we on 109? Board. I'm just kidding. We're doing a, we're, we're doing great here. Uh, by the way, Natalia is going to be managing the super chat. Yes. If you have any comments, any questions, any uh, super chats, we will be answering that. We got yes. sex icons here. We got birthday girls Ow. here. We got NDAs that you may or may not have to sign. Mm -hmm. And if you have a higher than a two body count, please leave the chat right expired, now. Expired okay? milk. Your expired milk. Obviously, we're having fun. Uh, by the way, here's a quick, uh, using the Gwyneth Paltrow thing. You got something? Yeah, you want me to You're, some Using the Gwyneth Paltrow thing, uh, again, we're just going down here using for storylines. Then she dated Ben Affleck, and she says that Ben was not in a good place to have a girlfriend in his life. Uh, it was pretty toxic. However, he was excellent in bed. This is what Gwyneth Paltrow had to say, okay? Um, Wonder why. Lexi, you said that you're attracted to narcissists. <laughs> oh, <God>. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Um, do you stay with men uh, because they're good in bed, because they're toxic, because you may or may not have daddy issues, because... Because I believe in love and I want to believe that that person's who I wanted them to be, but they may not be. 
So you're willing to stay in a relationship in order to change them or I don't want to change to do them, what? so I'll just jump out of that relationship instead. I tend to okay. just <laughs> Goodbye. You just pull the the uh and I the leave. cord and you're out. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why there's so many rainbows. I'm like, this rainbow ain't for me. Got to go. So this there's color a, ain't for me. Got to go. Got it. But when you say you're attracted to narcissists, mm -hmm. Is that an accurate statement? Father is, is an absolute narcissist, yes, number one. So Your do father? I like to date people that are like my dad? Yes, similar. I mean, we got daddy issue stuff going all yeah, over this Yeah, the love thing. bombing, the oh, all this over the top. My dad's all of those things. Okay. So maybe daddy I go issue. for this the, is, this, the daddy this, issue this, thing here. You're proving the young birthday girl's point right, that you're just constantly looking for approval and validation from a man who's not looking for fucking validation that's all men look for how do you mean ego feeding their ego men look for validation all up and down these streets yeah i think words of affirmation is uh, people want to be appreciated yeah if you ever read the book how to win friends and influence people it basically right. highlights the fact that we all need food water shelter clothing and appreciation everyone wants to be appreciated but i don't think i think it's to a, a deeper extent when you have daddy issues. I'm out here looking for love and someone that's going to do for me more than I usually do for when did, them. When, when did you start looking for it? Since I was younger. I've always been in, into dating and finding love and believing so all what the does Disney that say? Stories. What does that say about your success rate? If you've been looking for it for younger and you're still not able to find it? No, men are still trash, yes. So you're saying men are trash? Yes. So Hold on, man. Lex. What? You're out here looking for love. Mm -hmm. With a man, I assume. Mm -hmm. But at the same time... Men are trash. Men are trash. Yes. Now, is it that all men are trash? Is it that the men that you have dated are trash? It seems like some cognitive no, dissonance some here if you're looking exes. for love. I'm not saying they're all trash. But the fact of finding a relationship with a guy that is going to work is very unlikely okay. for me. Okay, describe your ideal man. Um, like... I want love. Paint, I want to okay, have love, that chemistry I that's insane. Paint, paint a picture of a, your ideal man. Like, genuinely think about this. He's mm -hmm. such and such a height. I want him to make such and such a money. I want him to treat me this way. I want yeah, him to respect. Yeah, he's like a 1%. Okay. Less than 1% type Describe of guy. Describe him. Describe him. Um, I guess family man. Maybe likes the same holidays I like. Good to children and pets. Tall. Has money more than... I would make most likely, um, or at least can take care of the family and what I l would like to do. If I need to have kids, that means I probably have to give up some things. Minimum amount of money that you would want your man to make a year or net worth? We've already, I've already been down this road. Listen, oh, I haven't he's asked barely you this even alive at this point, okay? So. What's the amount? <laughs> um, over a million a year. Okay, a million a year. And, and is that because based on the rules of hypergamy, women will only date across and up? Is because sure, you've made yeah, a good amount of money? I don't want to date someone that makes more, less money than I do. You would not. So why would a guy who makes a million dollars a year, and I mean this sincerely, why would he want to marry you? Why wouldn't he want to I'm marry I'm asking you. Tell me, like, sell yourself. Well, if I fall in love and I that's the right person, so we we're meant to be together. Let, let's say this, Lex. Um, do you want to marry an NBA player? I don't know what I want him to be at. NBA is tough. Athletes are Do you want to marry tough. a rapper? No. Okay. So let's, let's, let's remove NBA players and rappers from the equation. Hey, I like NBA players. Listen, I've got 20 NBA players on speed dial. I'll hook you up right now. Well, but me if too. You but don't that's want not, that. That's besides the point. Okay. So let's just strike that from the record for a sure, second, Lexi. Sure. Lexi. A business Lexi, man would be Lexi, hear nice. me out. Hear me out. What? I'm trying to find you love right now. Okay. Genuinely. <laughs> I'm trying to find you some love. Okay. I'm, trying to help I'm not I'm not picking a on you. A businessman would be okay, nice. Okay, so you it's want a businessman. Not really in my scene because okay. entertainment's uh, a businessman. Yeah. Tell me what you other than being a sex icon are bringing to this businessman, this multimillionaire businessman's life that's going to help him in life. Because, again, he's got money. It depends he's, what he's looking for, what he needs. What do you think? I'm I don't asking know. You. I don't know what that's going to well, be, but you I need can to know. everything and anything Lexi, I can. let me help you out, baby. You need to know. You're the one looking for love. You're the one that has a very specific idea. I don't idea. know. I can fucking cook, clean, have children, be there as a partner, a supportive partner, all the fucking things I need to be as but a wife. You say that, like, kind of condescendingly. No, not at all. Are you saying that, like... Because you want to do that? All of those things, yes. Okay. But you know the irony of it all? What? She can do all these things that make her a suitable wife and has yet to become a wife. Because I haven't found the right guy. I've left most of the guys that I date. Why did you leave the guys? Because they weren't meant to be my husband. 
Okay. I just felt like they weren't it. So, so marriage is not about what you. It's, it's not a uh, nobody's perfect for you. No. Marriage is something that you got to work on. You got to yeah, maintain once you get in a relationship. It's not and nobody's like designed for you. And I know there's a lot of religions that try to promote that, but that's just not true. I agree with you. So it's it's about making it work, de-escalating. You know what I'm saying? It's to, it's tolerance involved. It's compromising. And involved. jumping out when those cr there's some red flags and stuff too, and leaving a relationship when you know you should be leaving. But do you ever want children? I do. So do you, are, you, are you aware that uh, once you get to a certain age that it'll be highly likely that you'll have geriatric pregnancy? Sure, yeah, and I can do things. And you're willing to take the exchange, risk? In exchange, like to... take my eggs out if I want to or whatever, have a surrogate, whatever I need to do if I want kids, yeah. But, th but you see how the times have changed? You see how we come to, we come to a Who point where... Who said I even want to have a child come, come out of my vagina? We come to a point in time where women, women got to take their eggs out. Cause it's yeah, because so we hard have to... careers and things that we're more focused on. Like, I wanted to sing. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to teach classes. And I, it's hard having a man because a man wants one thing, a woman that well, does then, well, then that, basically then... nothing to just sit home and have kids and take care of the household. I had dreams and passions that I knew if I didn't do, I would be extremely upset. So you just and said, a man you just... just kind of gets in the way every time I've had a boyfriend. They've always kind of just, like, gotten in the way of, the, of this Question thing. for you. Question for you. Yeah. And I don't want this to feel like we're attacking you. We appreciate no, you. I'm glad you're here. You're like you're sharing your story. Great. Mm -hmm. All of us. So it's like um, at this point in your life, and then I want to come to each of you, uh, for you right now, because you're not going to go and change the past. I'm sure you mm -hmm. are very proud of what you've accomplished. Yeah. No doubt. You became a millionaire. You became very famous. Like you getting along with your dad for the most part. Everything's good. You've got oh, a lot okay. of friends. You made some music. At this point, today, moving forward, are you more focused or what's more important, a career or family? Mm, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm, I feel like I want to maybe a couple more years keep doing what I want to do because there's a couple things that I want to accomplish. And I'm in the middle of doing it right now. Okay. But I do want a family and I do want to find somebody. So it's kind of like a, we'll figure it out when we get there. We'll so, figure it out. But... Um, a little bit of pushback for you. You're 33, soon to be 34. Uh, what Bruiser was talking about is that at, at age 35, there's something called geriatric pregnancies. It's, do I want to give up my life right okay. now to be in a relationship is what people are asking me. Okay. Because it's not, you can't really necessarily have a fucking life besides your husband at that point. But and Lexi, do I want to do that now? I don't think so. Not but, yet. So Lexi, I, I'm only going to use your words and I'm going to repeat that. Okay. And, and this is only here to, on, on one hand, you're saying, I want love, I'm looking for love. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you're basically saying, I'm focused on my career, I'm not going to give it up. It's very hard to do two things at once. Yeah, I know. So um, there was a girl that was going to be coming on the show today. She rescheduled. She's going to be on tomorrow, Sahar. She's massive on TikTok. Are you familiar with her? You've yeah, done some reaction yeah, yeah. videos. I did a reaction her. video on her. Dark, dark hair. She basically yeah. says that she... She was an attorney, double bar, doing her thing. She basically said that she was crushing it, doing well, um, but she had to step out of that role, like take a back seat in her career in order to find the man that she wanted. And sometimes, like that's the difference between a man and a woman. See, a man ne never sucks. needs to like take a step back in his career, pull over to the side. Well, there you go. He just that's needs our to dilemma here. That I get. I get that's it. A fucking pro that's well, a terrible problem we have. But it is. A, but it. But but that's it's like, fair. do you want to be an ostrich in the fucking sand and pretend that doesn't exist, or do you want to acknowledge it and 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 look at face on like this one girl I'm talking about because the the ending because she just like you, mid thirties, super attractive quote unquote, looking for love. She had to take a step back in her career and embrace her feminine side to find a man to start a family and do all that. Again, baby, do Maybe whatever you like want in your life. 36 something, we'll see. We'll Wait, talk can about I say it. something? I don't think that all relationships are supposed to be that sort of relationship. Well, I, think you can, well. I think you can find someone that is compatible with you, that, that has the same values as you do. I don't think you necessarily need to step back and become feminine. Mm -hmm. If you're more of a masculine girl, you should, could probably find someone that can embrace like the way you are. Totally disagree. Well, that with would you. be the ultimate really? goal. You're saying that uh, you think a, like a high value man wants an alpha masculine woman? Is that what you're saying? 
Some maybe. Some. No, I don't know. The answer is but fucking still, no. Do you like you think Sorry, that every Melina, single no. you think that every single no, business? No, but there's dude. probably a lot of them. Stop. But okay, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, but it's, you want to give wait, random wait, case wait, wait. examples? Yeah, sure. My point I'm is, sure there's some really, dude that wants to get dominated by some fucking WWF. Do you value chick. someone that likes you for you, or do you want to have someone? That doesn't value for you just because you want like some sort of transactional thing with someone with money. Like so, maybe ask your question again. Yeah. I, I was shouting in my head for a second. Go ahead. Ask your question. You're <laughs> saying that you're sure that Why some guys you... do want alpha women? Of course. No. You don't think that there's a Listen. single man on the planet that likes to have sure. an independent woman that, that can game, do what she can wants? Can you find one fucking needle in a haystack? Sure. But we're talking generalities. <laughs> we're painting in, uh, in broad strokes here. Maybe men, here. especially Maybe men, that's the, way it the is guys here. that you want, yeah. who are accomplished, status, money, value, all there that, are masculine men. Other men, but that's, that's they a don't want an alpha that wants chick. To have some, no, you probably they, there's probably some of them yeah, that wants to have someone that. in between, right? Or like someone on the same sort of oh level. God. I'm 100 percent sure there is some. That there's what? My husband is that way. He is wants to have way? someone on the same level when it comes to independence, when it comes to like how dominant or like you are in life that's and like cool. what you want, what you need. That's fine. That's what yeah. he wants. But let let's be real here, like. He's way more accomplished at this point than you. Yeah, I'm 10 years younger, but I'm okay. getting there. That's and I'm probably a lot more head. He doesn't like me for that reason. He likes you because he you're feminine? Because <laughs> you're feminine, you're pretty? Why do he you, likes me for this? my personality Melina. and my passions and who I am. He, he's not he fair because he's yeah. not here. He, he don't give two like shit about I'm your passions. I'm just not like exactly. a feminine woman. Melina, he don't give two shit about... I have these motherfuckers, okay? Melina, that's probably something I know Destiny, that he I know likes. Destiny yeah. well. Well, that's he might, sad that he doesn't now care Now that he's met passions. you and he thinks you're adorable and great and cute and he likes your personality <laughs> and he slept with you and he's married you, now he'll give a fuck about your passions. Yeah. But if of you were ugly, out of shape, be fat, happy. he could give two shit about your passions, Melina. Stop it. But we have the same values. We want the same things. Both of us want to have an open relationship. We both bisexual. We have very similar like views Love on life. This. Why wouldn't Did you, you want to you know, have you know someone this? that is great? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to have someone that is like equal to you? I love that. Isn't that a that. lot nicer than having someone that is just in control of you the entire time Nobody and I'm just going to completely submit Melina. and I'm never going to be happy and like I'm not going to be independent we're, we're anymore on the same page I have a here. life yeah okay so here, here we go ready this is why you guys I'm are perfect I'm not ready to give it up yet okay <laughs> it's like uh, chat GPT do me a favor I need uh, two <laughs> video gamers one male one fo female who are both bisexual that like traveling the world and they want to hang out together you know what <laughs> <laughs> uh, Destiny meet Melina there's fucking two of you Adam, in the world can you make <laughs> didn't you say that okay, every we didn't you say didn't you say that every successful man wants to have a, like a submissive like woman? Isn't that what you I just said? I never said that. Wait, didn't you say that all the financial ones are you're never like they only want to want to have like someone feminine and not like an okay. alpha one? <laughs> didn't you say that just now? Did I say that? Yeah, I'm I pretty sure that, you did. I would say that there's something called polarity, and that <laughs> a man, a, a successful, like high value man, is not looking for a successful alpha woman. To out alpha him. Are we just sure. supposed to be damsels They've, in distress? You know what? No. I have, I've, Guys, why do we always have to go to extremes when we're saying what we want? Bills. But I asked not, you. I asked not, you if it existed. You said no. But then you There's guys not a complain. Single of course one. it exists. That's like, hey, no. can somebody okay, find okay, me cool. a video okay. game that bisexual we're on the same page. that likes it? And that gets we're on the same page. Yes, okay, we don't. Do, we give up exist. our thing, but you have to pay for us. Okay. And then you complain about paying for us. I mean, then that's perfect part of, segue. But that's also part Men of the reason why. Men complain about paying for no. the woman. But usually, the like thing, if they have no you money. Have, when you have a, a relationship and you want to be equal with your partner, then you also have to take responsibility of things to make things equal, right? You pay this bill, I pay this bill. If you want a man to take care of you, which is no problem, I want a man to take care of me, there's nothing wrong with that. There has to be something that you have to give a little, right? I'm gonna sit back in my career so that I'm able to support the kids. And listen, at the end of the day, like, see here, here's the beautiful thing about children is that children will teach you certain things in life that nothing will teach you except when you go through it. Absolutely. Your career yes. when you have kids is gonna be a different career, but you're also gonna be able to reach an audience with people now with kids. Right. So a lot of the time, people with these successful careers as women, sometimes it's like you're so focused on yourself and what you want. It's almost like you don't think about like, how would a kid, how would I implement a family into my lifestyle, right? Because I know I want a family. So a lot of the time people think like, oh, I have to submit to this man and I have to just drop my career. But let's not forget, we do live in a time where 
you can have a career as a woman and be married. Like, look at all these women who are right, successful. Have they have YouTube channels change. with these million dollar husbands. Like, we're in, we're in a time where those things are more acceptable. Mm -hmm. But I think also to keep in mind, especially because you are looking for somebody, is like, who would I want to kind of submit and, and take a little bit of the back burner for? What kind of man do I want? And once you are able to establish that, mm -hmm. then you kind of know how to navigate and look for that man. A lot right. of the time it's like, you don't know what type of man you want, it's because you don't, you're not able to establish it. And at the end of the day, kids, they were, they're able, I've seen so many influencers, once they have kids, you see their, their influence kind of change into a new audience. And I think it's so beautiful because you get to see these women transform into moms, right? Wives. And there's so much strength in that. So a lot of the time is like we get so caught up in, I have to submit and I don't want to give up. And it's not about that. It's just, what do you want? Who do you want? As an so, artist, you only have a certain time frame, though, to correct. be an artist. Correct. So my, my that's thing's biology. a little bit different, you know? Yes. I, mm -hmm. I, can I can change paths of my career, sure, and right. be a mom and do this and this. Me as an artist singing up on stage, no, that doesn't last forever. I'm not going to be doing I'm gonna, that. So I'm it's a little you, bit uh, of a weird thing, right. you know? No, absolutely. Great point by Nat. Yeah. I'm going to ask you one question. We'll open up to a super chat. We'll move on. Okay. Uh, we've got an hour left. Everyone uh, doing OK? Take, yeah, a, take, yeah. a, take a sip of water, whatever. Uh, <laughs> For you, because yeah. um, I appreciate that you're focusing on your career, your music. I think we have a video that we're going to play. I have questions oh. for you. Okay. Um, are you familiar with Chelsea Handler? Yes. Okay, the comedian? Yes. Okay, so recently we broke up. We had an issue. <laughs> we, uh, we had a little falling out. She's 48. So you guys make, were together? You a know, relationship? Online, online for a minute. She was in my DMs. It was a whole big deal. But she reacted to a, <laughs> okay. she reacted to a video I talked about, about, um, about how many women, the stat out there from Morgan Stanley by 2030, that 45% of women uh, ages 25 to 45, working age women, you're not there yet. You'll be there soon, oh, I um, hope not. <laughs> are going to be non-married, no children, uh, just single out there and I was like this is what the Morgan Stanley stats show she got all offended she broke up with me it's a big deal Chelsea it's fine whatever um, <laughs> oh you good you just spit your gum out or something so, that um, was funny. but Chelsea's 48 multi-millionaire no kids no man and uh, super successful she's popping pills and drinking vodka every day if you look into the future you and you were 48 you had 10 million bucks in the bank uh, no kids, no husband, a uh, couple cats, couple dildos. How would you feel about your life at that point? I want, I think my, it's gonna fold how I want it to fold out and I think there's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. I would like to have children. Okay. Maybe she didn't want kids. That's fine if she didn't want that. Yeah, I mean, and then there's multiple ways to have children. It's not just has to be like your husband, like. If you yeah. do want to have kids with like a gay best friend or I mean, there's wow. so many different things you can do and have a proper man in the relationship and have a proper woman in a relationship. So and now teach you want to raise your... what you need to teach. But Lexi, like your thing, you said that you, if you don't have a father, you're, you know, whatever. But you can have unstable parents and a best friend having a relationship with a best friend and having a kid together and having actually both their parents in their relationship seems more healthier than a fucked up marriage. True. Yeah, I think a, a fucked up, horrible marriage I'd is like not to ideal. Marry. Yeah, I'd like to a husband but for sure. And you kids. do realize some of the things you say are so ridiculous sometimes. I'm a Gemini. Now, sometimes that was ridiculous. <laughs> You're basically saying, you know what? I could just have a kid with my gay bestie and, and Why me. Why not? What's the problem with that? Stop it, Melina. Do you know how many like, girls actually have that conversation together? So, is, so what is the conversation going to be like when this when your son grow up and he's like, hey, who's my dad? Is that guy over there? And you like. Who cares? It doesn't need to be my husband or someone I'm fucking. It can be any good fucking man that I choose for my good gay man. child. No, whatever. Straight gay. It could be one of my wonderful bachelors that I know. It doesn't have to be a marriage relationship type of thing as long as the, the mm -hmm. male is present, teaching, a part of, helping, there as a dad. In a That's household, all that right? matters. It has to be in the house. It doesn't have to be a household. I don't think it doesn't have to be one household. If you could pick between having a kid with your gay best friend versus maybe like a really good man, mm -hmm. right, that you love, which one would you pick? Honestly, I think what's smarter is your fucking gay best friend. Wow. Really? Why? Wow. I just know so many things can go wrong in a relationship and it could, you never know that person. It could end really crazy. And with a gay, I don't know, with the best friend, it's just a little bit of a different, demo, like, or a different relationship. 
-hmm. a friend is you just there's a thing about your gay best friend where you know they're going to be there for you you know and sometimes that husband boyfriend situation like you really can't but what happens when your gay best friend goes and gets a real husband in his own and then he has his own family and now it's just one big blended gay I don't family know. you got to figure it out if it's eventually if it's, all right you gotta Naomi you've out. been a little quiet so let me ask you I know you said that you're not exactly trying to get married by the way 19 I wouldn't either um Look into the future for a second, all right? It's your birthday, okay. crystal ball. One day you maybe get married, maybe you don't. Maybe you have kids, maybe you don't. I don't know. But if you do have kids, would you want it to be with your boyfriend, your husband, or your gay bestie? I don't want kids, so I don't know how to answer that. I wanted children. You just children. don't want kids. It's one of my biggest fears. Really? But you're 19. At her I age, want I wanted kids. all of it. But how, how committed are you to that? Very committed. I so so kids. 10 years from now, you're 29, you're all by yourself, you're like... No. Yeah, I know I said that I didn't want kids, but hey, I was 19. Like, no. How is, convinced are you? I'm very convinced. I Why are you kids. so convinced at age 19? At, at, not, at age 19, you should be convinced of nothing. You should be like, hey, listen, That's why let me try to be a sponge. I surprise myself Let me be a sponge time. and learn. <laughs> so why are you so convinced that you don't want to get married, don't have kids at such a young age? Well, first of all, um, well, this is just my opinion. I wouldn't want to bring a kid into this world and how it's going. I wouldn't want them to grow up that way. And second of all, I personally just do not want to be a mother. That's a whole, it's not just for 18 years, it's your whole life that you're giving up. What's your relationship like with your mom? Um, she's my mom. <laughs> okay. uh, I love her. Mm -hmm. We have conflicts when we live together, for sure, so. This is gonna be a weird question. Uh, does your mom love you? Yeah. Do you love your mom? Uh, yeah, of course. Does she regret having you? Well, she once said that if she ever had me first, she would have never had a second baby. So I guess I was a terrible baby, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> but but I, I'm guessing your mom loves you and, well, and yeah. is super See, grateful that she has a young, beautiful yeah. daughter like you. I love I'm my guessing. mom. I love my mom. Okay. But I do not like her. Well, I, do not I like love my mom, but I also do not like her sometimes. I, I get just, it, but I love my mom. <laughs> no, I love okay, her we for all, sure. That, that's, that's every family, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's just like, Natalia's mom, she loves her, but she also really likes her. It's not that. just that. It's that I personally don't like her personality sometimes. I hear you, but, but, but for that's you just to the say, way she is. For you to say at such a young age, I don't want to get married, I don't want to have kids, and that's the way it is, I, I feel like that's a little closed-minded. It may be, but that's just... I mean, as of right now, that's just how it is. As is, of right as now. Of right is, now. Your, Thank you. is your answer based on also okay. what yeah. you were exposed to growing up? Is oh, that also 100%. Influenced? And my parents, they traveled the world, which is something I would want to do. And it seems like once they had kids, it kind of went south mm. a little bit. All right. Um, Shady. At least she doesn't want to have kids right away. That's a lot more dangerous. That's smart. that because you're tied up I mean, to it for a long time. I can't, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to be like in the future. You know, I never know how it's going to go. Let me address one more a thing you said. Woman. You said, I don't want to bring kids into the world because the way it's going. Yes. Um, from a macroeconomic standpoint, explain what's going on and why you don't want to bring kids to the world. Uh, I just feel like it's a very touchy subject to talk about. Well, the world, go let's ahead. Let's touch yeah. it. Yeah, let's, let's touch let's it. Let's touch it. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry. She's over 18. I'm Let's sorry. touch the subject. What the subject? So, just everyone's so sensitive these days, and it's not just that. It's it's everything. Like, I don't want to get political because I no go for it. We're I I'm not the biggest fan of politics, but I do follow and just like sure. I personally don't think it's gonna end up in a good way what all. are the what are the let's just nail this down Naomi. our food's going to trash yeah no uh, literally miami had a what gas are, store what are the, what are the top gas, three reasons the that you're scared to have kids these days you're saying number one people are too sensitive okay got it what else um i don't want to be held down for not just 18 years but my whole life i feel like okay so number two you're selfish being responsible <laughs> i mean if that's being selfish then number yeah. three is what I mean, I guess it goes back to the world and just how everything so that's is. So I'm saying, what's going on in the world that would preclude you from wanting to bring children to the world? Just politics. That's all I have like to say. Like how divisive politics are? Just the way everything's going okay. with the world. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like speaking on it because okay. it's very touchy. And 
Well, that, that's very something that I hear from time to time, just being candid with you, even from guy friends of mine. It takes people like you to change the world. Yes. There you go. Thank Way you. to encourage her. It go takes Lexi. people like you to change the world and have courage to say what you have to say. Yeah. I, I think from a, um, number one, just to address what you said, I don't like putting words in people's mouth. Number, number one, I get that people are way too sensitive these days. Fucking man the fuck up, people. All right, yeah, like words sure. don't hurt people. Free speech over everything. So I'm totally cool with that. I agree, stop being so sensitive. Um, sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I think I learned that in yeah. kindergarten. Yeah. It's like they should they should bring back two things to fucking kindergarten these days. <laughs> that that fucking phrase <laughs> and the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. Welcome yes. to America, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That's number one. Number For two, sure. selfish. Dude, I'm as selfish as it gets. Right. Straight yeah. up. I think we know. But at some point, but at some point, I'm gonna need to be less selfish and selfless. I think we all have to go through that transition. Yeah, and I'm I can, looking forward to that. You and I can but number have three, that through my sister's kids. What's that? <laughs> and I can have that through my sister's kids. Okay. I can spoil them all uh, I want. And then as far as politics, I, I hear this all the time, even from guys my age. And, and yeah, I don't know if I want to bring a kid in the world, bro. Things are so tough out there. It's like, you think things are tough now? That's what I'm saying. You think, you, who do you tough. think had it worse, us or our grandparents? Oh, definitely our grandparents. But we're going okay, so in a terrible place. By that saying, logic, we're going in a very they're dying in World War II. We're in the good era right now. Like, exactly. We're in the good era. Uh, economic <laughs> prosperity is at all-time high. Kids are living longer than ever. Education is higher than ever. Like, the world is better than it's ever been. But because Donald Trump got in a fight with Joe Biden, now we all fucking hate each other? Maybe they like, great let's relax a little bit. Our great-grandkids aren't going to have it that great. Well, I would hope that, uh, that, that it isn't that way. But anyway, don't be so closed off. You're a lovely girl. It's your birthday. My gift to you is be open-minded, be a sponge. Happy yeah. birthday. Yes. Boom. Super Easy. chats. Super chats. Yes. Let's go to yes. some super chats That's and then we'll, chats get, we'll nice. catch up on what it means to be a bad bitch. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. I like that. Oh. Mm. Here we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Super chats. Okay. Well, first, thank you guys for the super chats. We appreciate it. Make sure you guys like today's video, comment, subscribe. We've had really great conversations so far. Um, so I'll get through uh, some of the chats. First, we have Zuby, Mike from the office. Uh, he said, Adam, <laughs> never make the Jamaican patty joke again, please. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. The only reason I'll listen to that is because I know he's Jamaican. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, brother. Uh, and then we have uh, Andriano Valentino, Australia. A no moral man is going to associate with these type of women. We have zero accountability. <laughs> they always say these things. Yes. Uh, what are they talking about? A strong man wouldn't deal with this kind of woman. Then we have, that was the same gentleman. Then we have uh, Amini Design Studio. Men of value do not want to marry old, ran through women. Sorry, uh, you should just have played chess with your life decision, not checkers. Mm -hmm. Then we have Purple Hills. Uh, Lexi, uh, if you want a higher probability to find a husband and keep the husband, delete your OnlyFans. This is for you. <laughs> what is that exactly? Oh, the qu sit on it. <laughs> All right. And then we have uh, marriage, politics, and sports. <laughs> this is Cap. How many women come out of college virgins? Uh, Bruiser, stand your ground. <laughs> then from the same individual, uh, the sex act for men and women are completely different. It is not a dumbbell standard. It is, it is a different one. Then we have our art score. Bruiser is one of my favorite kings on King Talk. Uh, then we got marriage and politics uh, and sports. Lexi's millionaires don't want partners as wives invest in a store stock. Then we have uh, Arcadia Porter. M uh, met my husband when I was 19, still together and happy. I turned 31 last week. Happy birthday. It's maturity and constantly looking to improve yourself for the better in grace, patience, and kindness. Third kid due soon. Congratulations. Shout out to you. Then we had Harrison Davis. Shout out to my brother, uh, Bruiser. Salute. And then let me see if we had any last minute or chats. I think that's it for now. That's for the a military chat. salute right there. Awesome. Respect. Well, thank you guys for the super chats. Keep them coming. I'll be reading them for our guests today. Let's get some also questions for our guests. I think we have a great panel of different opinions. Um, we're about to get into some interesting topics, so make sure you guys yeah. give us some of those uh, super chats. Shout out to you all who gave us super chats today. Thank you, Nat. And by the way, shout out to Hooked on Phonics. You, as Hooked you notice, Nat's reading is impeccable these days. Might, some might say even better than mine. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Lethargy. Okay. No, I was right. Okay, okay. Pat was wrong. There's a meme about you. I got to show you this meme. Yeah, I've seen. There's memes going on with my reading skills. Jesus Christ. But not me. Uh, we've got some videos we're going to pull up. By yes. the way, if you would, make sure uh, that Bruiser's YouTube channel, Melina's, what, Twitch channel or YouTube channel? Yeah, or channel? YouTube as well. 
YouTube channel is down below. Lexi, what do you what do you tag want? Tag whatever you want to tag. Tag OnlyFans. Hey, tag that's it. the best Sex one to symbol, tag. Sex symbol, virgin, whatever you want. Naomi, where can we find you? Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. And what's your Instagram? It's Naomi underscore dot Hernandez. Underscore and a dot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fuck just an underscore. We Fuck a dot. It. It's Instagram. Do you know how many users are out there? Oh, there's a lot of Naomi Hernandez's uh, out there. Surprisingly, surprisingly. All yes. right. Well, Naomi underscore dot yeah. Hernandez. Yes. Only one. Follow our lovely, amazing, sexy, powerful, masculine, feminine birthday yeah, panel. <laughs> all of it. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> he, she, they, them, all of them. Oh. They're out here. Oh, yes. um, We've got some clips that we want to play. Um, and I would like to start with, uh, we have a clip, I believe, of Lexi. And I believe we have a clip of Bruiser that we're going to play. Which clip? Ladies first. Okay. Um, but you have several videos. You have one video of you twerking with over 100 million views. The twerking is uh, off the chain. Congratulations. Thank you. If, if you want to follow some twerk, uh, some twerk work, Lexi's yeah. the girl. But I, I want to highlight a music video that you did. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to understand what it means from your perspective to be what the title of this video is. Would you, put, would you play this video? Do we have your permission to play your song? Absolutely. This there is we go. Bad Bitch. This is free promotion. This is called Ow! Bad Bitch by Lexi Pantera. Oh my go ahead. Goodness. Volume, please. Ready? This is exciting. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch, I'm a, I'm a bad bitch I'm a bad bitch, I'm a, I'm a bad bitch Billion dollar ass, billion dollar bitch They already know, billion dollar bitch I'm a bad bitch, I'm a, I'm a bad bitch I'm a bad bitch, I'm a, I'm a bad bitch Those ladies giving you money? Yes, they're giving me money Oh, right, why were they they're giving you money? They're coming to my house so I can teach them how to be a bad bitch Ah I wake up, eat breakfast at nighttime. I got gotcha. I'm gonna rap now. Go ahead, Lexi. What is the pipeline? Spend like 3000 on white wine. What I'm making OF, that's a lifetime. Shake my ass to go up like a lifeline. Oh. Keep going. Pause. Keep going. There's a pause in it. There's a pause. Oh. No, it's good. All right. We'll pause it. We got it. All right, ladies. You are all, all right. here. Well, what? um, no doubt, <laughs> you are a bad bitch. A bad bitch. Okay. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually trending on TikTok right now. Oh, Let's get that out there. I just found out and I'm like shocked about it. So, uh, when, by the way, when did you release that video? I don't know. A couple months ago. Well, congrats. A minute ago. Now, those women were paying you in the video for what? They were coming to my house, my mansion house, to turn into a bad bitch, to be a bad bitch. So they were taking bad bitch classes. <laughs> yes. Now, basically, yeah. Now, uh, in this class, are there rules of the game in order to how to be a bad bitch? Teach these women around you how to be a bad bitch. And what is a bad bitch? Please help me. Yes, just like in the video, a bad bitch all around just means being you, like your authentic self. Okay, so it, just you? Just be you. Be so you, can anyone be a self. bad bitch? Yes. As long as they're and themselves? And a guy, guys can be bad bitches Let's not go too. there yet. Oh. We're, not, we're not going there yet. What? Bruiser and I are just going to be some... He said, oh. Some, just some dudes. Are we're just going to be... Okay, fine. We don't need to be bad dudes. We're going to be good dudes. We're just some dudes out I here. I mean, girls have different versions of bad bitch. Some, yes. some of them aren't bad bitch. Some of them are baddies. Or like, you know, they have their own little terms for it. I have okay. bad bitch that I like to say. And I, and, I, and I would like to know what... You're saying that any girl can be a bad bitch. Yeah, as long as you're authentically your, you. So as long as you're yourself... You can be a bad bitch. Yeah, because it's, be, it's hard to be yourself. Can you, a lot okay, of people here's, a, here's a question for you. And it sounds like I'm being sarcastic. That's just my voice. <laughs> can you be a 300-pound bad bitch? Mm. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Can you be a broke bad bitch? Yes. Can you be a homeless bad bitch? <laughs> yes and no. God, I hope you got somewhere to live. Okay, but if, you're, if that's like your authentic self, girl, and yeah. you like to be in these streets, you're, you're a bad bitch. Got it. If you're completely authentic, completely authentic, you're yourself, but you're a crackhead with no teeth. Are you a bad <laughs> bitch? She might be in her almost bad bitch ass. Yeah. She needs to get a couple things together. Okay, but by no, your rules logic, to be in a as bad bitch, there's rules. Okay, but by your logic, anyone can be a bad bitch if just, they believe they're a bad bitch. 
Yes. It's about the confidence. Because let me tell you, the power of confidence. Yeah, the power of confidence in the words that you speak are spelled. So no matter if you're fat, it's important that you. No matter if you're fat, broke, homeless, toothless, crackhead. You can be a bad bitch too. (laughs) Okay. Now, uh, Bruiser, us gentlemen will be here. Um, How would you define uh, like a high value man, a man who complete opposite. You like, can't have one tooth missing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you're going? You're like, yeah. Can you be? Hell no, you can't be homeless. Can you be a? And no, you can't. Be. Can you be an obese, homeless, toothless, penniless, <laughs> high-value man? No. Okay. And why not? It just mm. don't. It don't correlate, man. It don't. You can't add any value to anybody's life with those attributes. Okay. So by. By your logic, there's a set of qualifications that you need in order to be a a high value man. In order to be a man of status or status, there's some qualifications that you need to to reach to become the pinnacle of manhood. Yeah? Yeah. What are some of those things in your mind? Uh, First of all, for the record, I didn't come up with the the concept. You know, I had to give it to uh, the, you know, the great Kevin Samuels recipe. Shout out to the OG. Shout out to the OG. So I would say you would have to make a, a salary of over six figures. You would have to be in a, um, in a group, a network for over maybe four to five years, uh, networking with guys who are on the same level or above. Uh, you would have to have a, a brand, an image that projects influence on a mass of men that want to be like you or are inspired by you. It's all about inspiration and your brand and your image. Yeah. Um, could you... <laughs> the bad bitch thing. I can't even. So, so not any man can just wake up and be like, yeah, I know that I live with my mom. I uh, live in a basement. I'm 400 pounds overweight, I'm penniless, I'm broke. And, but, hey, man, I'm doing me. I'm the man. So guys can't do that? No. Confidence is key, though. Confidence is key. Why can't I do that, Bruce? But you gotta be funny too, cause yeah. confidence is key. Funny, but what no. what value? You gotta look at it. What what value can you add to another man's life? Okay. So obviously I'm having if fun I'm, here. But but <laughs> but all right, hold on. Uh, uh, hold on, Lexi. What what is a bad bitch though? Other than if a man okay. is asking a woman what she can bring to the table, you're already in your feminine energy because you're trying to get from me. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you. so. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you thought I was going? No, I'm telling him that. Okay, Sorry. gotcha. So if any woman can be a bad bitch, but any not every man can be a high value man. This seems like the law of supply and demand kind of playing out in front of our eyes. For so ourselves, what? we can be that. For you guys, what do you want us to be? Yeah. Hot at all times, you know, shut up, don't have opinions. I mean, there's a million things, but we're talking about if we're talking about for me or for a man. Okay. Uh, Naomi? Yes. Birthday girl? Yes. Would you classify yourself as a bad bitch? I mean, of course. Okay. <laughs> of course. That was so calm. And uh, why are you a bad bitch? Because why not? <laughs> How do, you, how do you respond to that? Why not? <laughs> what is a bad bitch in your mind? Definitely confidence. I have to agree with that. Um, but I honestly, I don't think it's just about confidence. I think okay. it's about how you represent yourself. Mm. Okay. So when you say confidence, that's the, the most important thing? Um, yeah. Now, is that internal confidence? Is that looking at yourself and feeling beautiful? How do you define confidence? Yeah, I mean, looking okay. at yourself, feeling beautiful, feeling okay. like now, you can conquer that's the first I've asked you this question before at Model Volleyball, and I said, I asked girls to rate themselves on the hot crazy matrix. How hot are you one through 10? How crazy are you one through 10? The, offer, the, 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 the answers were incredible. Georgie, you were there. Some girl who was clearly a three thought she was a 15 some girl that uh you know that was uh yeah but that's the thing everybody has right. different she had confidence do you remember what number you gave yourself yeah i think a five a five mm-hmm. which to me is a very low number for a pretty girl like you i think you're way higher i'll let the audience put a number in the chat of just looking at her what number they think naomi is i think it's way higher than five but that would be sort of antithetical to 
your confidence. Because if you look in the mirror and you don't like think that you're a 10, like most girls think they are, that would show a lack of confidence, but you're saying that you're a bad bitch because you have confidence. I don't think it's that. I think it's everyone has different pre preferences, so I don't want to speak for, for anybody else. I want you to speak for yourself. For myself. Yeah. You well, said see, you're a bad see, bitch, see, but you're also different. a five in see, your mind. See, it's different, though. When, you're, when, you, when you rate yourself how yeah. other people view you, it's a different rate. No, 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 no. Ain't that How do you view thing? yourself? Forget about other people. It's just us right here. You look in the mirror, you see a five, yet you're a confident bad bitch. That doesn't equate to me. I would say a nine. Everyone has some flaws. Oh, so you just went from five to a nine? Yeah, well, in other people's yeah. eyes, I would say five. But in my eyes, I think I'm a nine. Girl, you're a 20 in other people's eyes. <laughs> There you go. Don't ever That's fucking my girl. take any Lexi, number. Don't below. listen to these broke ass motherfuckers Hell out no, here. Don't listen you a to ten. Them. <laughs> you a ten. You're a ten. Build her up for her birthday, you're a bad girl. Bad bitch, <laughs> especially on your birthday. You're a bad bitch. You're a three hundred <laughs> pound, no toothless, pennyless bad no, no, bitch. No, 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 no. This is right, the basics you, of a bad say. bitch. The basics say. of a bad bitch is you got to be yourself. There's more to it. Obviously, we know there's more. The, you know, growing as a person, fucking yes. lotion when you get out of the goddamn shower, take care of yourself. Yes, yes, there's levels. Those are to some this. of the prerequisites Absolutely. to being a bad bitch. Absolutely, lotion that ash, yeah, of course. for sure. Okay, so step one to <laughs> being a bad bitch. It goes down get some from the lotion, lotion on your ass, yeah. To being, you know, whatever. Okay. It, it goes from top to What are to some bottom. of the? I, I'm actually not even being a, a jerk off here. What are some of the things that you can do to be a bad bitch in like in the realest sense? So, for example, Meditate, for a man, learn business, I think get a job, I think work so out, make money, uh, so improve. Fair. Network, learn game, talk to women, improve your net worth. Like the more we do that, the value There's of steps. us goes down from you guys. Okay, so what are some the things that you can? The more people we talk to, we're trash suddenly. No, we're I didn't used. say that. I didn't say that. Sleep with maybe. However, I just kind of gave some prerequisite checklist for men. Checklist for women. I'm gonna help you out. Step one: get out of the shower, lotion your ashy ass up. Done. Okay, cool. I love that. After you do that, self care is very big for yeah, us. That's okay. So self care. But that's also because men really care about the way we look, so that's just preconditioned in but our head. Is there a problem with that? that? It makes you feel. But that's a part of it. And it makes us feel like yeah, bad it makes bitches. you feel very good. It makes you feel mentally I ready think, to keep yeah, the world on. What? For sure. Like when you do like self care, it makes you mentally in a better state. I feel. Totally like. agree. Right? Yeah. For men and for women. Okay. You think I just wake out of bed like this? I gotta go fucking do it. Oh, no, of course not. You gotta meditate. <laughs> I got a whole host of things. We could do a whole show of what's going on with me. <laughs> However, uh, life's good. But after you put the lotion on and you self-care, give me some of the ch steps to be true definition of a bad bitch. Like, don't just give me the surface bad level. Be you, be yourself. Take care of animals properly. Okay. You know, you clean up the house properly in your own duties, your and own things. I, I think... Going Take after a couple business what classes. you like, maybe a career, what about maybe your cooking? career path, cooking, maybe your hobbies, just okay. doing stuff you like, going in ambitious. I think if you're a bad bitch, you have to be very ambitious. Ambitious, yes. Okay. A bad bitch has a chef, uh -oh. <laughs> she doesn't cook for All herself. Right. So, you guys do not have a clear directive as to <laughs> what a bad bitch Honey. is. Um, Melina, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. lovely Melina. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a bad bitch? Sure. You are? Sure. What makes you a bad bitch? I do whatever the fuck I want. Damn. I'm passionate about things. Amen. I go to the gym. Yeah. I feel happy. I have whatever relationship I want to have with anyone. And I'm whatever trying to do want. best for myself and take care of myself and other people. And your boyfriend slash husband doesn't care who you boyfriend. have related. Husband. I, I yeah. apologize. <laughs> your husband doesn't care who you sleep with? Uh, no. So you do whatever you want? Yeah. So you can leave the house, go sleep around, come back to your husband. Yeah, just and like he's he does. totally okay with that. Yeah, he does the same thing. He does the same yeah, thing. Yeah, we both do. And uh, that's cool. Yeah. That is, is that cool? That's cool that she found a guy that is, they fit. That's so cool. Yeah, that's We're what exactly I said. Exactly the, the same when it comes to that sort cool. of stuff. Yeah. That's what I said. Chat GPT, make me up a two happy. bisexual <laughs> uh, Twitch game She's streamers. lucky. She's the one percent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you so, go, girl. Yeah. You're special. Uh, <laughs> so what makes you a bad bitch again? It's all those qualifications. I think taking care of yourself, not giving a shit about what other people think about you, feel confident, take care of yourself physically and mentally, and do the okay. things that you really like to do. No matter how much money you're making, like survive, but like as long as you're doing something that you actually feel genuinely happy with and no one else's opinion matters to what the thing you're doing, I think that's a perfect life. Doing you. Yeah. Respect. I wonder what a bad bitch isn't. 
I mean, some you know, someone that wants to lay in bed and do absolutely nothing all day, I wouldn't really consider too much of a bad bitch. <laughs> but that's their truest self. That's what they want to do. Yeah, if uh -oh. that's what they're they want to do, then they're, they're, they're their own bad bitch for sure. You're right. Oh, God. <laughs> so anyone can be a bad bitch. Yeah, anyone can be a bad bitch. So you do understand why, like the 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 bar is set very low to be a bad bitch. It's wherever. But to be you a high value bar, man, the, the bar, bar is set very high. High value, it just depends. No, it doesn't. Doesn't just depend. Yeah, it does. It depends what you're talking about. Go deeper. What do you mean? Are we talking about who's judging here? Who's the one that you're supposed to be the bad bitch for? You're saying you're either a bad bitch for yourself or you're doing it for other people. I'm confused. You, you, I thought you were talking about what it means to be like a, a high value, high status man. High like, is there, there are here? certain. Who, no one that? said a bit bad yeah. bitch is like high value, high status either. It doesn't mean that necessarily. No, that for a man it is. I think what Bruiser basically was doing is saying that there's a very clear definition oh, what of what it means to be a man, a successful man, a high value man, a man of high status. It is very freaking clear. And it takes many years to become that dude. Mm -hmm. yep. You're not going to do it when you're 20. You you're not going to do it when you're 21. Do you're not going to do it when you're 25. Maybe some guys don't even do it until their 30s and Most their 40s. Most guys it just takes aren't. Time. Period. Correct. Most guys aren't. That's my fucking point. Right. That's the point is that most guys are not. It we takes time. It takes work. It takes effort. No guy can just wake up and be like, "I'm the man, dog. I'm a high value man." So what's a bad no. bitch to you? I don't know what, what it is, is a bad because bitch by your definition, you? anyone can so, be a bad. So basically, bitch. what y'all just reveal exposes that men have standards and you guys. No, don't. you guys have zero standards. You guys just want us to cook and fucking lay down and get fucked. Well, he like just that's gave not you. a lot of standards. We have way higher standards for you guys. Yes, we do. You guys should also Wait, have higher ask, standards do you think for us, that, to be honest. Well, the, do you think that the, you guys the don't way really like a man's do. supposed to be is like just one shit. direction? Say it again? There's only one direction of like what to become, like how to be a, a f man or... What, what do you mean the, by one direction? You're saying that you need to like, like make, Harry Styles? You need like, to make you six <laughs> figures, you need to... Yeah, how, like is that what every single man is supposed on, uh, to... Yeah, is that whatever... Like, what do you mean by one direction? Do you think every man should follow this? Should follow what? Making money, making being money, do all these things that you the think is a high value man. If they want to be a high value man, yes. Okay. Do if you think that every value. single man on this planet should like follow that no. path? No. Okay. Most men can't, and most men don't. Mm -hmm. But most men should. Yeah. Most men should. Do you think that it would work out in the long run? Everyone can make that much money. No. Every single man. No. no. That's why there's the one percent. There's the ten percent. Then mm -hmm. there's the. Listen. You want to be average? It is so easy to be average. Yeah. So easy to be average. Average is the easiest thing you could do. Oh, you don't want to work hard? Oh, you, you just want to have an average life? Oh my God, I can't tell you okay. how, how easy it is to be average. I'm answering I'm your question. Yeah. I'm answering your question. It, the, the hardest thing to do is not be average. Okay, most people are most people. Mm -hmm. Most people can get a C in school. Most people can make 50 grand a year. Most people can live in a one bedroom. Most people can live with their parents. You want to be average? Oh, it is so easy not to try hard. So what advice? Very would you hard give? to wake up your ass up early, yeah. kick some fucking ass, take names, get to work, put in 10 years of work, become a millionaire, meet chicks, go out there, deliver value, network. That is hard to do. But hey, you want to be average, go be average. Sure. So what the is choice the, is yours. I'm curious, what, what advice would you give to men to reach happiness or feel meaning? Happiness? Mm -hmm. So you're asking about happiness? Yeah. That's different. So happiness is different. Happiness, mm -hmm. my definition, is having meaning and purpose in your life and actually doing that. Not talking about it. Action. Actually putting action in. Mm -hmm. So whatever meaning and purpose you have for your life, if you're doing that, that will lead to happiness. Mm -hmm. Now, that's you can... That's a bad bitch. That's a bad that's bitch? A bad, that's a bad bitch. You can be broke <laughs> as fuck. You can be broke as fuck, but be happy. Yeah. But I'd rather be rich as fuck a and bad be bitch super is happy, happy though. Yep. That's the, that's more like it. Hmm? That bad bitch is a happy. What I've bitch. just learned, and much respect to you women, because you're all bad bitches. <laughs> it is so easy to be a bad bitch. Yeah. So easy. It's not easy. It's very hard to be a high value man. Yeah, Amen. but that's the thing. We have Do a lot high of... value men want bad bitches? Well, I don't Do even agree on that actually. Oh, I, I, I think wait, it's that the truth. I think it's hard. The high value I man think, wants I a bad bitch. I think it takes bitch. a lot of confidence. To not give a shit about what other people think about you and do your own thing. Yeah, but but th that see that's a cope and that's a cop out. Really, you know? I think it's I'll really hard because everyone seems to care what everyone else is thinking about them all the time. Okay, that true. Yeah. In in, in a regard, um, yes, you yes. shouldn't care what random fucking people think about you or society to, or whatever. Or society, right? random people, but you should care what the people around you 
think. Why? And what? Why? Your image. So like you in your circle. But wait, in the you don't, you don't care about your image. You're telling me you shouldn't care, care about your family, friends, kids, coworkers. Husband. Who's what that? If, what if you, your husband, your significant other thing? What if you're surrounded thing? by a bunch of assholes that yeah, are know. stupid? Are you supposed to Malina, denigrate yourself? Let me ask you a question. Why wouldn't you just do whatever Malina, makes you happy? Listen for a yeah. second. Listen. You're a gorgeous girl. You're 24, okay? You're, uh, how, how tall are you? Uh, what, 64 centimeters? I'm European. We're using fucking centimeters. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> way we can't, can't even communicate. I'm All right, so you're world, five foot okay? four. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're probably going to give me some kilos or stones right now. How much do you weigh? <laughs> How much I weigh? I think 60 kilograms. Okay, guys. We're, we're, she's 60 Stop kilograms. Them. The point is you're an in-shape young woman. Now, mm -hmm. if you gained another 60 kilograms, which is, I don't know, 125 pounds, mm -hmm. do you think Destiny would love you exactly the same? Hope so. No. Of course, uh -huh. you should take care. Hope so? Or will he? I am not talking about, like, my goal is to, like, get really Melina? fat. Right? That's not really no, no, what no, I'm no, talking about. You're you. not missing the point. And, no, the, and then you're not you, listening to what I'm saying. No, no, no. You need to answer my question okay. first, and then we'll go to your point. Okay. Do you think if you doubled your weight, Destiny would still love you exactly the same? I have absolutely no idea. I would need to try to check. Oh, you have no idea? I have absolutely no Take idea. Take a stab in the dark. If I you have, became, if I you have became no idea. fat, I haven't tried. If you became fat, yeah. And you didn't look at, look as good? My yeah. husband better. Okay, you think huh. he would love you just the same? I have absolutely no idea. Well, okay, I think you should okay, go get an idea. Because How the am I answer, supposed Woody, to know Woody, it needs Woody, to happen you're saying for me no, to know? I'm saying he would not. And that's why men are trash. Because you better are, love me, God oh, damn wow. it, if I'm 120 Lexi, million stop. trillion pounds stop. or not. Lexi, stop. No. You're saying that no. we should care about what other people Guys, think about us. Because men just suddenly have Destiny, no personalities when they became, end up married. We got to love them anyway. Can I say something? No, here's the difference. Men get boring in relationships. Guys, here's the fucking difference. Let me say this and then we'll open it up. What I'm realizing is this, and I mean this with all due respect, Bruiser and I, we're living in reality. You guys are in fantasy land, okay? You're the baddest you bitch because- You guys love in fantasy land. That's where you guys thrive at is no, us in fantasy land. No, we don't want you land. in fantasy land. We want you to be feminine you want us and to be beautiful and live in reality. We know. Okay? Bruiser, help well, me out here, brother. What reality are we talking? How do you even Listen, know that yeah, you're talking about What kind of reality so, is there? Let me ask you this, let me ask you this. If Destiny went broke tomorrow, uh -huh. Would you still want to be? Absolutely, of course course she I would, would still love him. Yeah. That's not a fucking thing. Why do you think that my relationships are that transactional? That it's just all about money and like taking care. Okay, I would take care of him. Yes. Okay, I do think that. Yeah. Okay, but if you, for yeah. I like the example that you gave, Sauce. If you were to double your weight, you were to lose your teeth. Do you think your significant other would still love you the same? Honestly, I don't think so. And there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day, you're significant other you should care what they think and it's because they want the best for you they don't want you to be overweight that's going to risk yeah, your health, it's health and stuff they don't want you to have losing sense. teeth that's going to be bad for your gums it's unattractive sure. so you also have to consider like the health aspect as much mm -hmm. as it's like oh adam you're being ridiculous it's true and your significant other should be like hey you, you're gaining some weight i'm worried about your health and mm -hmm. as you get older that is a more probability to happen and that's why i think it's important that you keep your partners accountable when your health is not in a good place Okay, so I think so that's a great if, example. So, by the way, Natalia, great point. And I'll just add one thing, and then I'm going to come to you. Okay. Uh, partially, I care about your health, sure. We're not just talking about health. But I'm also health. selfish as fuck, and I don't want to look like a fat girl with no teeth every day. <laughs> exactly. So but, it has nothing to do with your health. I mean, it does a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want to, I don't want my young, beautiful, feminine wife to be fat and out of shape. And so just like you don't want your husband to be broke, penniless, loser. What happens when your balls are old, shriveling, and hanging down, and I don't want to see those? Well, you'll be chivalry, too. Yeah, you'll be having an old, wrinkly ass guy. What are you talking about? We're going to be old together. We're going to be old together, Lexi. <laughs> okay, fine. Naomi had a point. Go fine. ahead. So, okay, hold on. By I the think, way, I think. by the way, let me just, let me edify her the right way. Um, the then. young, beautiful model who I met at Model Volleyball, who's 5'10", tan, gorgeous, who just turned 19, has something to say. Go ahead, uh, Naomi. Well, Not the 300-pound, broke, penniless, toothless, <laughs> random bitch that I met in the trash Homeless. can last week. Well, thank Go you, ahead. Thank Sorry. you for that introduction. But yeah, I'm just... <laughs> Is that's that how I met you, father? and that's who Can you are. Can we come are, back so. to what I was talking so, about before? Yeah, I, think, I can finish it later. Go ahead. Thank you. So, like you said, if someone goes and randomly gains a bunch of weight, and like you said, you don't want to be with someone who has a drastic change like that, right? Correct. And I have to agree with that, only because if you're going through a drastic change like that, mm -hmm. then obviously it could be mentally, it could be physically, 
you are not that same person. Mm -hmm. You have something going on, yep. and maybe that's not the same person that they married. Right. Mm -hmm. So my lovely cousin over here sure. married his gorgeous wife over here. Yes. They are both in their early fifties. Stand up for a second, Allie. This does not look like a 50-year-old yeah. woman Phenomenal. for a second. Phenomenal. She's 52 years old. She's a, she works Phenomenal. out. She's a bad she's, bitch. She, oh, <laughs> she's way she's better. Not, she's way better. <laughs> By the way, I asked her before we got here. I said, how many of your friends or people you know that look like you? She goes, like, none of them. They're yes. all fat, obese, out of shape. They don't look good for their man. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, like, it's, it, it's hard to do that. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to be average. It's so easy to be fat. It's so this easy. To, okay, I think the bad bitch <laughs> thing is just getting overplayed I here. See. You are a bad bitch, but hey, thank you for that. It is getting overplayed. Melina, on TikTok, last point, right. then we have to play a clip I and we have to wrap up. I think everyone should take. I think everyone should take care of their health. That's like no. Yes. I'm saying. I'm not saying that yes. if someone gets fat, I'm like, okay, let's say that Stephen gets extremely religious, There's and I'm not religious at all, here. and he's like, I just want the best for you, so I think you should really join church. I'm like, hell no. And okay. Would he really be correct? Probably like that's just like differences but baby, in that that's case, ideology. right? Ideology. Yeah. That's not yeah, actual that's not physical, aesthetics. tangible yeah, things. Yeah, someone's gaining weight. Like, There's something okay. wrong. So something's like, going would on. I, why right. would There's I a big difference care. between why? gaining 150 no, but I never kilos even than, than I never even reading mentioned the Bible. Physical appearance. <laughs> I never even mentioned any of it. I was just talking about like, let's say that he wants to change the way I am no. to the better, or I should care about his opinion. Of course, I wouldn't care about it, but I would listen to what I like. What kind of stuff that I like yeah, to do in my life? Yeah, but sweetheart, you have a husband, so take it into and you should take into what your husband takes into consideration. Why? Yeah, but religion? Why would the fuck I would say about religion? I didn't say about religion. I said about anything. It's your husband. To him. I would listen, but, you know, and then I would. Listen, listen, you know you're losing this argument when Lexi Pantera, the bad bitch, is probably <laughs> saying you should listen to your husband. Okay, okay. My point is, is that this girl don't listen to nobody. Let's say that you're. But if enough people tell you something, yes, let's say that your partner wanted to join this psychology church or whatever the fuck or it's church of scientology that's what it's scientology. called that's talking um, about ideology that's different no i'm that's talking about physical. anything i'm not talking about anything let's like would you really like, care about their opinion about, because they're know. changing it completely why like i would that, i would, I would want to understand affect your life. why they're changing course, their religion but, of course but wouldn't you care we gotta, about your, we, we gotta wrap I up here okay well it's a tough I, one. I heard you what you're saying and i'm disagreeing with you and i'm moving on to the next subject <laughs> okay okay yeah <laughs> but i'm not even getting to finish okay well go ahead I, next okay thing. so finish your, cool. finish, your finish your point finish your point go ahead then. my point is that do you really should you really think about what your family thinks about you let's say they have a dad that's really abusive and calls you ugly fuck every single day just because no. your dad why do we got to go to extreme no, because your husband, husband. Like, you should care about what your husband thinks about you should care about, about, you you care about yourself. the people that care about you yeah but they say let's say uh, hold on an abusive dad could say, I care about you. That's what I'm telling you to okay, change. Okay, but we're not, I'm, not, I'm talking about your husband. Case. No, we're talking about family. You said family before. I said people around you that care about you. People, I said that, you you should not, people that you keep people around you. Yes. No, 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 no. People in your people circle. People that are trying to force their beliefs onto you do not care about you. Melina, let me themselves. wrap this up because we have to move. Okay. You don't have to listen to anybody. Even your husband. Even your parents. Even your best friends. I want you to listen to fucking nobody. You do you. Cool? cool? Yeah, sure. Cool, then we're good. <laughs> we're good. Next one. Fuck you, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Making it hard for I, I like everybody Steve. else. I like Steven a lot. Yes. Uh, we have a clip from Bruiser. I yes. want to get to this. We'll wrap up. We'll do the happy ending, uh, and we'll wrap up in the next 10 minutes. Thank you guys for being here. Thank uh, you. Bruiser has some strong feelings on what a, uh, we talked about um, the uh, used milk or left, what was it called? Expired, Expired milk. milk. I know you have some <laughs> strong feelings on what a leftover woman is. I can't believe he said that, though. Okay, so let's play this <laughs> clip, crazy. and then we'll talk about it on the other side. If you begin and dating a woman who is over 27, you reserve the right to exercise your options. Here's why. A woman is born with her value. A man has to earn and work for his value. The peak value of a woman is between 19 and 27. The peak value of a man is between 35 and 55. A woman goes to the gym to amplify her value. A man goes to work for 20 years to gain his value. From 19 to 27, the woman enjoys a great amount of sex and hanging with friends at some baller's expense. From 19 to 35, the man gets no sex in his teens. He can't screw in his 20s, and no one wants him because he's broke. The man finally reaches his peak value and is wanted by all women. These two meet, and she says, no, 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 you need to be monogamous to me. Totally unfair, right? She had all the sex during her peak value, but you can't. Fellas, unless you find a woman in between the ages of 19 to 27, there is no justification for her to demand you to be be monogamous. A woman outside of her peak value that's already ran through should be happy you laid eyes on her. See you on the next one. Man. Okay. 
Lexi really has to go to the bathroom. Can you bear, can you bear with us for a second? I have a lot to say. I'm okay. going to pee my pants. Mm -hmm. it, it, but that it, would it, make for good TV, so well, I kind of want to... <laughs> was it a video? Problem. Was it a video that almost made you piss? You know, you just said a lot of girls were fucking in their 20s, but you weren't. That's a you problem. Yeah, but... It's not because you were broke. The, what I got from that was that, and I actually have a question for you. You're saying that, and obviously I want to get your opinion on this as well as Lexi, and then we'll wrap up. You're saying that uh, any uh, woman over 27... Any man that is dating a woman over 27, he should be able to, quote unquote, uh, explore his options. Yep. What does explore his options mean? What does I that mean, actually he, he, mean? He has an option to choose whether or not he want to be monogamous or whether he want to exercise his options. Okay. Based on her body of work, you know, her now, track record. Is that, let's just be clear here. That means cheating? Uh, I wouldn't say cheating because cheating means that you're, you're exercising your options without the knowledge of your partner. Okay, so uh, cheating, but she's knowledge. She's in the know. Well, if she's in the know, it wouldn't be considered cheating. It would just okay. be considered exercising your options. Gotcha. And you're saying that, that at 27, that's where those rules get implemented. Well, what, well, if you look at statistics and you look at society, that's typically the age around the time when a woman is, is the least. That's, that's pretty much her last year of being impressionable. Of being, being what? what? Impressionable. Impressionable. Gotcha. Lexi, you're 33. I'm impressing them all, honey. You're, you're, you're <laughs> about to be 34. Are not limited. It's about um, him impressing you, though. Highly. Very if for the right, like hear me it. out. For the right man, for the right man, multimillionaire, good looking, tall, treats you well, everything that you're looking for in a man. If he says, Lexi, you want me, I want you, we love each other, we're great, we found in love. But you're over 27, baby. And I'm going to use Bruiser's logic, and you're going to have the life of your dreams. But you're going to cheat on me? But I'm going to tell you when I cheat on you. How do I've you feel about that? I've tried that out before. Okay. How'd that work? It didn't work well. Why? Because I was uncomfortable with it. I didn't feel comfortable. So you wouldn't be open to that? Unless I can at the same time, then maybe. He says, no, 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 no. No, it's, absolutely okay. not. Disgusting. But, but... If you could, would you be down to do that too? An open relationship? Yeah. Uh, it's a possibility I could try. You would do that? Mm -hmm. That's some, uh, why does that interest you so much? I feel like men are just naturally, they want to be with so many women. I already think a lot of men cheat myself. That's okay, but I asked about you. Do you want to well, be with a lot like, of men? I feel, yeah, I like when men too. I wouldn't mind When you're doing married, that. you want to be with other men as well? Maybe. Really? It could be a possibility. Okay. And Melina, you actually do this while you're married. Yeah. Okay. And you're like proud about that. Yeah. That's great. Um, and what happens if you found out? So how does it work with Destiny or Steven? Does he have to tell you when he cheats on you? Yeah, I like to talk cheats about on you? Cheats on me? Why would he oh, cheat on me? Okay. You know what I mean. Better. Does he have to tell you when he when sleeps he hooks around? When he with someone else? Does when he, he have to tell you? Option. Yeah. He has to tell you. If you're trying to avoid the conversation or lie about it, there's clearly an issue. So, of course, you talk about things. It's We're okay. married. That's where you so share life with each other. If you found out that he had slept with some people but didn't tell you about it, would you be upset? Well, he would tell me about it. But, but that's <laughs> yeah, what, that's he, what lying he, is called. If he, he felt the need to lie to me about what yeah. he's doing, yes, I would have a problem with it. Gotcha. Yeah, but so, as long as he's being open, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a wild world we live in, guys. It's the wild west out here, y'all. <laughs> what are your thoughts? A man, if a man who exercises his options don't have to tell you. It's, it's a conversation that's had before you get into the relationship. So you know what's going to go down. You know, you know, exactly. go down. You know, what, you nah, know the dynamics of the relationship. Lexi, come this way. So. Sorry. Lexi will be right back. She didn't get offended by Bruiser. Mm -hmm. Joey's going to help you go to the bathroom. Lexi, be quick because then we're going to wrap up. Um, so you're saying that you shouldn't talk to your wife about things that you do? If I'm exercising my options she's in a, and she's understood before we get into a committed relationship, there's, there's no conversation. So, so I missed the last point. Sorry to say There's it again. no conversation. He doesn't necessary. think that he should share his life with his partner, pretty much. That but, was what? But I'm not, I'm not, no, let's get this straight. I'm not yeah. exercising my options. That's not, that's not what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm saying for the man Why who... Why wouldn't you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Talk about what you do in your life. I am talking about what I do. I'm saying I well, don't do that. Well, you said that it would be understood that you wouldn't talk to your wife about what you do. Well, what I'm saying is the typical man who exercises the options... He, let, he, he lets the woman know that, hey, look, this is what's going down. You want to be with me? You want to be committed to a relationship? Listen, I'm not a monogamous man. But then whenever it goes down, it's not like, hey, look, I'm about to go ahead and bang this chick. Or I'm about to bang this chick. I'm just letting you know. No, there's, there's no conversation. There's no, you she just know he's moving how he moves. 
and he come La home. Last question. Why don't you implement that in your marriage? Well, because uh, I don't I don't believe in that. You know, I don't believe that, you know, what we have, the dynamics of the relationship we have, it would work with us. So, you know, you know how they say, like, you got to practice what you preach. Why would you encourage other men to do that if you don't do it yourself? Because I met my woman at, at that age, in that age range. I met her at 21. So she was impressionable. So she had an impression of me. Everything that she had, everything that she liked, all of her tendencies, her profile is based off of what I've influenced into her so life. So does it, is it only applicable if you meet them after 27? It's if you meet them and they're unimpressionable, then you have the right to exercise your options because there's nothing you can do. She has her favorite position, her favorite restaurant, her favorite color, uh, whatever. So if you it's meet them, just, just so I understand, and I'm not saying I agree or disagree, I'm just generally trying to figure out what you're saying. If you meet them at a younger age, they, that's it. They get a pass. They're kind of grandfathered into the non exploring your options. Like if you meet them at 19 or 24 or Natalia, who's somehow 21. Yeah. They basically only uh, seen the color they, blue they, and it's their favorite color. They bypass, they're <laughs> grandfathered in to the exploring options rule. Right. But if you're an old ass, haggerty bitch like, like this girl right here, you don't that's get it. nothing. Sorry. My life is over. You're, you're, you're exploring everything. Exactly. Jean Jacques Cousteau out there, Lewis and Clark all up in that ass. Right. Her, her identity, <laughs> her whole makeup Good. has been has been made up from so other men. So if you're me, if you're me, okay, forty two, doing my thing. Doing your thing. Should I go find a twenty six year old or a twenty eight year old? Mm. Meaning, the hell's the difference? Twenty six. I don't get it. She gets. The, I don't get <laughs> to any difference? options. Twenty eight. She's done go, for. Go ahead, give me a cloak, dagger, that's, shovel. That's I'm exploring crazy. out there, brother. Man, just just aim as just aim as young as possible. It's 21. Ooh. 21. No, honey. Wow. No, 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 no. Don't okay. fucking do it. I think 21's good for like biology, don't for like kids. Do it. But yeah. I don't yeah. know. 21 for a woman is also like an ideal talk. point where <laughs> women feel like also that sense of confidence. It's very few women that feel confident in their own skin at 21. Don't get me wrong. Like to have kids, like yeah, be 21. I think even our last podcast, um, our guest, she broke down that period of how you have kids and stuff like yes. that. And that's something to very much consider. But a 21-year-old female is different, than, different, way different than a 24-year-old female. Okay, so let's, end, let's, end, let's end here. Let's end with this and we'll 21. wrap up. <laughs> Give me your, I know you're not getting married and have kids, but you're going to want to have a boyfriend. Give me your ideal age of a man that you would have a significant relationship. What age? You're 19, he's how old? I mean, I would prefer an older man, not a boy. How old? Um, youngest and then the oldest. Age range. Yeah, youngest, mm -hmm. I would say, I'm 19. I would say 20. Okay. Oldest. An older man, 20. Oldest. I mean, it depends on how like the connection is and everything. But sure. For oldest, I would say 28. 20. Okay. So 20 to 28, you're 19. Got it. Lexi. Pantera in the house. You're What's 33. Uh -huh. Give me the youngest and oldest that you I would like date. I like all you boys out there. <laughs> okay, so give us the. Well, like, let, let, we're not talking about 13 year old boys here. Let's get. Let's get. <laughs> not so 13. You gotta, so I just had don't some 13 say you year like olds hit on me at so, Sky Zone. That was so really you awkward. You like 18 to 80? Give me an age range. Um, yeah, I like um around 30s and up. So 30. What's the cutoff? In the casket. I'm going to say like 45, 50. Okay, so I got a few years left. Yeah, you better. Right. We I'm both, a, me and you I, both, honey. We both have some geriatric <laughs> kids together, Lexi. And Shit. he's not coming to the wedding. He doesn't believe in it. That, he's the best I'm man. I'm expired, baby. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm done for. Okay, gotcha. So you're 30 to 50. Yeah. Respect. Melina, I, you're already married to Steven. Shout out to you, Steven, if you watch this. Destiny. He better watch this. Um, <laughs> So he it's kind of hard to ask this question. But what's the age difference between you guys? Uh, 10 years. Oh, 10 years. Got it. Okay, great. Nice. Got it. Uh, Natalia, yes. you, you ain't getting all easy, girl. <laughs> youngest and oldest that you would date? Um, youngest i date would be someone my age. And someone older, if I had to. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dating someone. so. Um, but if I am older to pick, I wouldn't be surprised someone in their, like, 40s. 43. 43. 43, 44. Right. 45, if it seems I right. I have some questions like, for him. You got a question for Bruiser? I wish we had more time. Bruiser, 
What do you think the ideal age difference between a man and woman should be? We all know the half her half your age plus seven. So if you're 40, half your age is 20 plus seven. That's 27. They say that. I think that's in the Quran somehow. I don't know where that What's is. What's up with all this math? Yeah, we got math out here. <laughs> this is so okay, annoying. I'm and to I've like never see. been a good at math, <laughs> Lexi, so y'all are really losing me. There's, there's a, I'm just going to go on the record. There's a part of this girl that I really love and appreciate. <laughs> I do too. And then there's also a part of me that's like, you, you stupid. You just want to hit me? <laughs> no, I, I would know. I would never. Because what's with all these math and facts and stats? <laughs> I, like I, do. Just, I just shit. go with my gut it's here. It's entertaining now. <laughs> yes, you're great. You're definitely entertaining. Uh, what do you think the ideal age uh, difference should be between men and women? I don't really think it should be a difference, but I think when you make a difference, then you got these stipulations. You got all these dis disconnections that come into it. But if it was me, if I was telling a couple when to get hitched, when to get married, I would say start as young as possible. Both of y'all, 19, 20, 21, y'all should start building as, as young as possible. You think a man should get married at 19, 20 years old? If he wants a wife, I think the optimal... Oh, Bruiser, the, you got to come back. Where we got to have another fucking show I, with listen, your ass. Yeah, no, I think it's way 19, better. 19, 20, dog? I think it's way better to build together uh, as young as possible. I fully disagree with you. It's hard to stay you. with potential, honey. I have, I have deep it's respect. Hard. That just seems I think sports. a man should build... Not a relation. I think a man should build himself first. Figure your own shit out. Get your own stuff out of the way. Test drive as many cars as possible. Make your money. Improve your life. And then you meet a hot young girl. You're like, all right, you're my wife. Let's then go. Then you're boom. prepared for and her, there you honey. Go. Uh, that's it. We're, we're, we're moving on. Anyway, we got some super chats. So we'll get to the happy ending. Yes. We'll wrap up. All right. Bruiser, respect to you, bro. Let me see my last chats. Super chats. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I think we'll start. Oh, we'll start with Natalia. Don't start not learning how to read okay, right no. now, girl. Let's go. <laughs> we got to wrap cap up. On. Reading cap is on. Thank you guys for the super chats today. I'm gonna go through the last few so we can have our happy ending. Adam's favorite. Um, we'll start off with <laughs> beaten cheeks. Beaten cheeks is in the chat. He said a bad B word is a woman with a body count of less than two. Feminine, not fat or obese, and peaceful. Don't be trashing bruiser standards because we want to think alike. Look at you, Adam. Hi, Natalia. Hi. Hi, Natalia. <laughs> Bruiser has some very high standards. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't think a lot of women fit those standards. Mm -hmm. Lexi's just out here. Right I'm just uh, <laughs> oh, I'm over spent. it. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Then, then we have uh, Raihito. Ask Lexi if um, her delusion is what her husband wants. I think she will find somebody. I think you got to give her some time. I think she'll definitely find somebody. Uh, tough Rusbe, mm -hmm. ladies, you reflect what you get. Pick better and do better. How I move is being direct, upfront, and honest, and because of that mindset, um, how I got some ladies, regardless of where they are at in life. Then we have Gus. Uh, 304 is like green and white, give oh worse God. advice. Uh, they, in Sweden, they may have laws for a man not to bring women in other countries because they didn't like independent women. And then we just had a super chat, uh, just money, uh, from Ruchi Chen. We appreciate you. He's just giving us money. He's giving us no money. Comments. Appreciate it. No, no That's comments. What we like. No bathwater. That's how we like our woman. Just give me money. You. Don't talk. <laughs> uh, totally but thank you guys it. for the super chats. We appreciate the support. And you know, make sure you guys like the video, comment, subscribe, because uh, today was a really great conversation. I enjoyed it. Today was wild. I, I knew when it. Lexi Pantera was coming we on the panel. We need that though. Melina was coming yeah, on the panel. Yeah, yeah. Bruiser was here. I knew this was gonna happen. Anyway. Uh, this is now time for the happy ending. We wrap up. This is a time for you to give any final thoughts, a plug, anything you want to be known for or the people to know. Let's start with the birthday girl. Woo. Naomi, in the house. Thank you for being here. Look into the camera. Your camera's boom right there. Go ahead. Share what you want with the world. Go ahead. I mean, shout out to Model Scout and The Source. Mm. I wouldn't be here without them. So, That's nice. Yeah. That's very selfless of you. On your birthday, shouting out your model agencies. Of course. Anything else that you want the people to know about you? Um, I don't think I want them to know anything about me. Oh, them. very secretive. <laughs> well, happy birthday. Happy Thank you. Birthday. We'll go for a drink later, but it'll be a non-alcoholic <laughs> O'Doul's. Juice. Um, I'll have a Shirley Temple. That a girl. <laughs> uh, Lexi Pantera in the house. Woo! By the way, those freckles are not real. No, they're not. I'm sorry. It's a disappointment. I know. No, it's okay. It's okay. You know? Guys you get really sad when they find out. They're like, oh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm not unsad. I'm just pointing out the, they're fake freckles. Anyway, uh, happy ending time. What do you want the people to know? What do you want Bruiser to know? How pissed off you are about him? He, he will not Bruiser. be a fish. Here's my promise. He's not going to be officiating our wedding. I promise you. <laughs> Thank God. Maybe he can be in the audience with his mouth taped. 
<laughs> um, I'm going on tour, so I'm excited to announce that. I just put up the flyer. It's an all-female party called Sorry Poppy, mm. and I'm performing three records every single weekend. It's like 45, 50 shows, and um, I'm going to perform Bad Bitch so that all my bad bitches can sing along in the audience. Well, let's shout out to all Congrats. the bad bitches out Congrats. there. Congrats. Shout out to all the baddies Shout and the bad you, bitches. And thank you so much for using my tick or using my sound in the TikToks. Yes. It's been crazy. Yeah, so congratulations thank you for that. on all your success. Thank yes. you, Melina. Yeah. Thank you for being such a good sport. There's nobody out there I know who is literally and figuratively more open than you in Destiny. Yes. Like Pretty you guys open. put your shit out there. Shout out. Love to me, you. hate me. You are open and you are out there. Yeah. In all ways. I wish y'all should do it in your own way. You don't have to be I like me. I'm, I'm right not telling anyone doing. to do anything. I'm Everyone's bad. doing their thing. You're stay doing in my too. lane right here. You have your here. podcast. You have your I'm restaurant. I'm going to sign that NDA before yeah. I go to that gangbang, and do you that. never know. <laughs> do that. Uh, what would you like the world uh, to know about you? Go ahead. There's your camera um, right there. Boom. Twitch.tv slash Melina. Um, then YouTube, Melina.Jorensen. Same on Instagram and on TikTok. That's what I use. And I have fans, Melina. Just Melina. Fancy. Give her a follow. And some <laughs> random dude might DM you and might you might like him and boom, things mm. just opened up. True. <laughs> Sounds great. Memories. Are wild. Let's make you never em. know. <laughs> Bruiser, shout out to you, brother. Respect. Uh, 100%. Thank you for being here. Uh, your camera's right there. Go ahead, give yourself a plug. Let the audience know where to find you. Y'all can find me at youtube.com uh, slash at Concur Network. I live stream there weekly. I want to give appreciation to my wife for holding me down. She's taking care of the kids while I'm out on business. And uh, shout out to YouTube Mastermind. It's run by uh, the lead attorney. The lead Yeah, attorney. we know the lead. Yeah, yeah of course. He's, uh, he's been a big inspiration in a really short period of my life and uh, exposed a lot of things and as far as growth and development. It just really gave me a boost of what I needed to do. He's Anton, a good dude. Anton Daniels, Lapeef Network, uh, Social Identity. Uh, but most importantly, Concur Network on YouTube. Write it down. That's it. Done. Respect. That's Write it. it down. Nat, I know you know how to read now. I don't know if you know how to write, but yes. write it down in the chat okay. so they know. All right, cool. It. Nat, give us your takeaway. We'll take this thing home. Um, yeah, quickly. I, I love conversations like this. I think it's important we have panels with very different um, ideologies and beliefs um, because then it allows you as the audience to determine where you want to lay on that spectrum. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know, and when you have conversations like this, you kind of start thinking about things that you didn't think about by yourself. Um, so thank you all for joining us today. Thank you all for being open with us today. Happy birthday to you, Naomi. Thank you. Um, and thank you, Sauce, for the conversation. You know, without you, we wouldn't have SauceCast. So thank, thank you. you. Kind of the name of the show and all yeah. that. But yeah, I appreciate our guests. And I think uh, I almost called you Naomi. Natalia. Hey. Uh, well, it's a birthday girl. <laughs> Hit the name on the head. Uh, you might think that Lexi's the hottest, best girl in the world, you might think she's a delusional 304. It doesn't matter. Uh, you might think Naomi's the hottest, youngest thing ever. You might think that she's oblivious to what's going on. You might think Melina's adorable. You might be sliding in her DM. You might think she's a fucking completely, I'm not, I almost used the curse word. Go you know what it. I'm saying, <laughs> out there. You might think Bruiser is the absolute man respect, or you might think that he has no clue what he's talking about. The bottom line is here, we bring, we bring people of completely different ideologies, completely different perspectives to have genuine conversations and let you decide what you wanna do with your life. Now, what I will say is the one thing I'm firmly, firmly in agreement with that a man, for the men out there, you do not wanna be average. You do not wanna wake up and just, hey, accept me for who I am. I'm not gonna look at you and accept you for who you are if you're a fat, broke loser. So get out of bed, make something out of your life, do something with yourself, Same. okay? Right. Don't be a bad bitch, okay? <laughs> Be a high value a man, high get value your shit man, together. That's what all we right? want. So, uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to Sauzcast at VT Money. And we'll see you guys tomorrow uh, where Natalia and I do our own show yeah. on Fridays. All right, till next time. We out. Peace out. Shout out to that hot bad bitch right there. Bad bitch in the building. <laughs>